what's up with a happy Roblox family. Forever? Well, yeah, the twins went to our school, and I guess she moved to Bookhaven. Whoa, so cool! Hopefully, she's not a bully like Sarah. <laughs> nah, I'm gonna guess she's probably super nice. Now, come on, Molly, the bell's about to ring. Okay, class, everybody take your seats. We're about to say hello to a new student. Yeah, I heard there's a new student. Don't worry, though, she won't be cooler than me. Sarah, there's no talking on your phone in math class. Ooh. Well, you haven't even started math class yet, so I'm not really sure what you're talking about. Sarah, if you keep talking to me that way, I'm the teacher, and I'm going to give you detention. <gasps> Tell whoever you're talking to on the phone that. I have to go. The teacher's about to give me detention, and then we can't shop at the mall later. Yeah, that's right. No mall for you. Oh, look, here's our new student. I'd like everyone to say hello to Sophia. Oh, Sophia, um, I know, I know. I have a bag on my head. I have to wear this at all times. Okay, that's all right, sweetie. Um, why don't you go ahead and take any seat that you like? Um, Molly and Daisy are really friendly. I'm sure they'd let you sit next to them. Which one are Molly and Daisy? Oh, Daisy has the pigtails? I both like you. Daisy, Daisy. Molly, shh. We're not supposed to be talking. We're supposed to be doing our bath. I know. Well, what's up with Sophia? She's wearing a bag on her head. I don't know, Molly. Maybe she's allergic to the sun, like our neighbor. I don't know, but but that's kind of weird, right? Yeah, but maybe she's a nice person. So what? Yeah, you're right. I just never seen anybody wear a bag on their head at school. I mean, is she like an alien? Molly, of course she's not an alien. You never know. Uh, aliens could come to Brookhaven High, too. Ay, ay, ay. So you get the sum of the equation by... Molly, can you answer this one, please? The teacher's talking to you. <coughs> Molly, wake up! <coughs> Molly, are you sleeping in? Oh, well, I guess it's time for lunch. Somebody say it's time for lunch? Well, now you're awake, I see. <laughs> lunch is my favorite class of the day. I like eating so much pizza. Hey! Where's Large Marge? She must be taking a break after making all this delicious pizza. Yeah, that's just another annoying student. You don't have to listen to that. I know you go to private school, but I don't get to go to private school. I'm not that lucky. I don't know. I like Brookhaven High. I think it's an awesome school. Large Marge makes the best burrito in the entire universe. Mmm, so good. I prefer to eat the apples. Blah, blah, blah. Apples are boring. Well, okay, they're kind of good. After you've eaten five slices of pizza, that is. <laughs> hey, there's the new girl, Sophia. Let's invite her to sit at the table with us, Molly. She doesn't have any friends yet. And I bet it's kind of hard to make friends when you have a bag on your head. Um, hey, Sophia! Oh, uh, hi. Are you here to tease me about how I have a bag on my head? What? No, I wouldn't tease you about that. Although, I have a few questions. Everyone always does. 
But uh, I mean, you don't have to answer any questions. You can just come and sit with me and my sister at the lunch table, and we'd be happy to be your friends. Aww. Really? No one ever wants to be my friend. They think I'm weird. Well, I don't know your reason for wearing a bag on your head, but I don't care. You seem like a really sweet person. Come eat lunch with us. Yes, Sophia, come eat lunch with us. Oh, yeah, there's, like, this new girl at our school. She has a brown paper bag on her head. Like, who does that? She's probably, like, so ugly we can't look at her face. <gasps> oh, my gosh. Sophia, I'm sorry. It's okay. I'm kind of used to it. This is the way it was at my old school, too. People just made fun of me all the time. <sighs> I used to cry about it all the time. But now I just feel like, why, why even shed the tears? I have no tears left to cry. I mean makes me feel sad, but I have to wear this bag over my head. Well, I'm sorry that so many people have been so mean to you. Riley, what are you doing? I don't know, that pizza just gave me a lot of energy. I have ants in my pants, make my dance to friends. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. Uh, my sister sometimes. Don't worry, Molly. Sometimes I do crazy weird things too. Uh, Sophia, I think we might be like friends for life. <laughs> Hey, you want to come over to our house and hang out after school? Sure, I'd love to. I really haven't had any friends before, though. What do we do when we hang out? Well, we can eat snacks, we can play Roblox, Ooh. you know, we can ride our bikes, anything you want. Wow, sounds amazing. I'll be there. <laughs> Welcome to our house, Sophia. Um, I guess it's not that fancy. Are you kidding me? You have a hot tub in your house? That's amazing. And... And, and so many mirrors. Huh? So many mirrors? What are you talking about, Sophia? I mean, I don't have a single mirror in my house. <laughs> I'm not allowed to have them. Wait, what? Why? I'd go crazy. I'm such a fashionista. I mean, how would I even get my pigtails straight every day if I didn't have a mirror? Well, you could spend a little less time in the bathroom. You know, I usually eat beans for breakfast. Uh-oh. And you need some bathroom time. <laughs> Molly! Gross! Don't be rude when we have a guest. <laughs> Look, Sophia, if you learn anything about me, it's that you have to endure my fart jokes if you want to be my friend. <laughs> no problem. Uh, I don't know. I just, I guess I'm different than everyone else. Um, I don't know if you're that different. You seem sweet and nice to me. But why aren't you allowed to have mirrors in your house? Because my mom, she says that if I or anybody else ever saw my face, I'm so ugly that the world would shatter. Wait, you're joking, right? Yeah, she's got to be joking, right? I'm not. It's for everyone's own good that you never see my face. Can't believe it. That can't be true. You're so kind-hearted and, and wonderful and you could never shatter the world. Besides, you want to see me when I wake up in the morning. What? It's time to wake up already. No. No, I can't wake up. I can't wake up. Yeah, I'm pretty gnarly in the morning. <laughs> I agree, and your breath always smells like, well, I'm right. <gasps> hey, well, I'm just telling the truth, so I'm pretty sure no one could be scarier than Molly. That's super nice of you to say, Daisy. I'm so glad you're my sister. I know, right? Truth teller, that's me. <laughs> my name is Daisy. We don't need to hear your song. It's you do just like the flower. My name is Daisy. I've got flower power. Um, thanks for the, um, pep talk, I guess, guys. But, yeah, the bag has to stay on. Well, let us show you around our house. So, this is our hot tub. Oh, my gosh, you guys have a hot tub? I always wanted one of these. That's so amazing. Whoa, it's slippery. Ah! <laughs> Sophia, are you okay? Uh-oh. Her bag got wet. <gasps> oh, no. That means it's going to disintegrate. Guys, don't look at me. It'll shatter your faces. It'll shatter the world. Do you have a new paper bag? I need it. Don't turn around. Just go get me a new bag out of your kitchen. Sorry, we don't use paper bags. We just use those reusable ones because mom said it saves um, one penny every single time we go to the grocery store. 
No, Molly. It was like two dollars. Well, anyway, um, we don't use those, so we don't have any paper bags. What? Besides, Sophia, come on. I'm sure that your face will not shatter the world. Who told you that anyway? Well, 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 I guess I could show you my face, but, but don't be surprised if it, if it shatters the world. We can take it. I promise, Sophia. Show us your face. Wait, what? <gasps> Sophia, you're gorgeous. You're, you're a total 10. A babe, beautiful, amazing, lovely. Wow. Why you been wearing a bag on your head? Seriously, can I brush your hair? It's so amazing. It's like, it's like a movie star. What are you guys talking about? I'm the ugliest girl in the world, and it's not nice of you to make fun of me. We're not. Sophia, we're your friends. I mean, we're new friends, but you can trust us. Come on, come into the bathroom and look at yourself. I can't. It'll break every mirror in the world. Who told you this crazy stuff? Come on, look in the mirror. Oh my gosh, I'm, I'm beautiful? Yeah, so why did you wear that bag for so long on your head? I can't believe this. Everything I've been told is a lie. I, I was told this by my, by my mom. Wait, what? Yeah, she told me that she didn't want me to shatter the world, so she made me wear this bag over my head and she got rid of every single mirror in our house. She said I was never to look in a mirror and I was never to take off my bag off my head. <gasps> Whoa, seriously, she's got issues. Why would your mom do that? I don't know, but I have a lot of questions. A lot of them. I feel so betrayed. I would too. We'll go with you and we can ask her lots of questions. Thanks for being my friends, guys. I would have never known that it was actually beautiful. Yeah, it's a crazy world sometime. Hey guys, if you want to know what happens to Sophia, make sure you check out part two of this crazy movie. I'd like everyone to say hello to Sophia. Oh, Sophia, um, I know, I know. I have a bag on my head. I have to wear this at all times. Come eat lunch with us. Oh, yeah, there's like this new girl at our school. She has a brown paper bag on her head. Like, who does that? She's probably like so ugly we can't look at her face. <gasps> Oh my gosh, Sophia, I'm sorry. Hey, you want to come over to our house and hang out after school? Sure, I'd love to. I really haven't had any friends before, though. What do we do when we hang out? Well, we can eat snacks, we can play Roblox, Ooh. you know, we can ride our bikes, anything you want. Show us your face. Wait, what? <gasps> Sophia, you're gorgeous. You're, you're a total 10. A babe. Beautiful, amazing, lovely. Why did you wear that bag for so long on your head? I can't believe this. Everything I've been told is a lie. I I was told this by my by my mom. Wait, what? Sophia, do you think your mom will answer the questions honestly about why she made you wear a bag over your head? Even though you're gorgeous, like supermodel gorgeous? I'm not sure. Um... My mom is, well, not the nicest, but since I was an orphan, I'm just glad she adopted me. Wait, what? Your story is so dramatic. You were an orphan too? Yeah, she adopted me and I'm always grateful for that. Well, if you don't think that she'd answer honestly, maybe we should snoop around in your house and find answers for ourselves. Molly, uh, actually, I think Molly's idea is a perfect one. My mom is at work right now, so we can sneak in there and see why she would lie to me like this. Good idea, come on. Now, where would she hide things? Um, maybe under her bed or, I don't know. Wow, your your room is um non-existent. Oh yeah, um, I just sleep on the couch over there. We don't really have any money. 
Oh, I'm sorry, Sophia. It's okay, I have a roof over my head, and that's all that matters. Yeah, but it sounds like your mom's been lying to you for a really long time. Are you gonna be okay? I hope so. Come on, Molly. Let's see if we can find something, anything. Okay, I'm gonna look in these drawers. <laughs> what are these strangers doing in my house looking through my stuff? I'm gonna call the police. Well, that'll be hard since my dad is the police. Sophia, what are you doing? Who are, wait a minute. Where's your bag? The rule was you never take off the bag. You run the risk of exploding the entire city. She doesn't have to wear that anymore. You're lying. That's not a very nice mom. Moms don't lie. What? Who are you to come into my house and talk <gasps> to me like that? She's my friend and she's right, mom. I have questions. And I have some answers. I found Sophia's adoption documents and they're forged. They don't have a state seal on them. Dun, 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 dun. So much trouble. I'm calling my dad. He's a police officer. He's going to arrest you. Whoa, whoa, whoa. This is still my mom you're talking about, guys. Sophia, you can take the bag off your head. You don't have to wear it anymore. I guess I sort of just feel safe in here. I mean, I'm so used to living inside this bag. Except for, of course, when I eat a sauerkraut sandwich. Then I don't want to be in this bag with myself. <laughs> I know what you mean. I feel that way when I go into the bathroom after I eat a bean burrito. <laughs> Ew, Molly! Come on, back to the point here. Why would you lie about all this? You don't seem like a good mom. You seem like a criminal. Uh-oh. Why did you make these new friends? I don't like them at all, Sophia. Of course you wouldn't like us because we're actually looking out for, for, for your supposed daughter. What is going on here? I'm feeling really stressed out, Mom. I want some answers. And now? Well, you were an orphan. No one wanted you. And, and that's a lie. There's always somebody that wants to adopt kids. There's a lot of good people out there. You're lying. You're lying. You're lying! My dad taught me how to spot a liar. I can always spot one. I can always spot one! Yeah, what's the real truth? The whole truth and nothing but the truth. Oh my gosh! Sophia, you were actually born Madeline! Wait, what? I had a different name? That's right. And... Wait a minute, you look a lot like the queen and king of Brookhaven. I, I do? You two need to get out of my house right now. I don't think so. We're still finding out the answers here, lady. My goodness, I think you might be the king and queen's daughter. Well, that's impossible because they already have a daughter. But wait, I smell something fishy. Honey. What are you doing? You're supposed to be resting. The baby could come any day now. I know, honey, but I wanted to bake some bread. I'm so bored with just sitting around the house. But the doctor said he wants you on bed rest. You need to be. You need your rest. But, but honey, I'm fine. I feel great. Honey, this is why we hired a maid. She's supposed to be helping you with these things. I know, but... I can do it. I'm I'm totally able. I know you are, but we have to think about your health and the babies at this point. You can get back to your normal activities that you love doing once the baby comes. Now, I insist, go rest and let the maid do all of this. Margo, I need you to do everything that the queen would like to do, but shouldn't be doing. Uh-huh, sure. I'll do all of the cooking, all of the cleaning, Everything. I'll even scrub the toilet. Perfect. That's exactly what we hired you for. Now get busy, please, because the queen needs her rest. Oh, honey, I surely am totally fine. You, couch, relax. Watch some Netflix. Okay, fine. Oh, I sure hope that my little girl gets here soon. Mostly because I want to meet her, but also because I miss having my life, being able to do things besides just sitting around waiting for her to arrive. Margo, I need you to make sure that the queen listens to my orders. She must rest until the baby comes, which means you will have to 
work extra hard until our little one arrives. Uh Uh-huh, sure, fine. But what about my little one that's on her way? No one even knows that I'm going to have the baby too. Do they even care? I mean, seriously, I have to work so hard. The queen just gets to sit on her booty all day and be lazy. I have the most unfair life in the whole world. Can you believe it, honey? Our sweet, beautiful little angel is here. Yes, but you're still very weak. You need to rest, honey, okay? I know, I know. I'll just be here with my sweet little girl. Hi, mommy and daddy love you so much. Oh, sweet baby. We're going to love you till the end of time. Okay, I'm here to take the baby because you obviously need your rest. No, that's okay, Margo. I can take care of her. I'm totally fine. Honey, I think the maid has a point. You do need your rest. You just had a baby. But I want her to stay with me. I know, but just a day or two of rest. And I promise you you can see her throughout that time. It's just I, I really need you to, to, to get a little rest. Ah, okay. Here you go, Margo. Take super good care of her. Uh-huh, sure, whatever. Honey, do you trust Margo with our baby? I don't know, she just seems like a little, well, mean. Oh, honey, I think you're just just being a little paranoid because it's your first baby and you're kind of nervous and... I don't know, I just have a bad feeling about her. (gasps) Everything's gonna be A-okay. Now just try to get some sleep, honey. Sweet little girl, you're no princess, but you're about to be. I'm going to miss you forever. But if I do this swap between you and the Queen's baby, you'll have the best life I could possibly give you. You will be their princess, and I will take the princess and raise her. Trust me, this is for your own good. You being a princess will mean that you can be anything. I love you so much, and and I'll miss you forever. Time to do the baby swap. Margo! Margo, I'm awake now and I want my baby. Okay, here's your baby. What? This isn't my baby. What are you talking about? Of course it's your baby. You're delusional because you're sleepy or something. This is not my baby. Where's my baby? Whose baby is this? I better get the king. She's gone mad. (laughs) We have a mad queen. What? I'm not mad. I'm not crazy. This, this baby is not mine. Look at it. <laughs> Honey, are you okay? This is not our daughter. What are you talking about? My queen, you're exhausted. Maybe you need to go to the hospital. Did you get a bonk on the head? Look at her. She doesn't even look like our daughter. I didn't really get that great of a look at her because she was all bundled up in your arms when she was born, but I'm quite certain this is our child. I mean, whose child would it be? This is the only baby in the castle. It's not our baby! I'm telling you! I know! I know my baby's face! Honey, I think you're just tired. Please, just rest. The baby can even stay with you if you want. Fine, but I'm telling you, something, it's not right! Are you serious, lady? I can't believe you did that! Everything I've ever known is a lie! You're not even my real mom! (gasps) Well... I did it to protect my own daughter, to give her the best life that I possibly could. Yeah, but you ruined, you you ruined (laughs) Sophia's life in the process. You took her away from her mom and dad. You took her away from being a princess. Well, I provided a good home for her. Yeah, sort of, except for you lied the entire time. You're going to jail, lady. You're going to jail. I, I didn't mean to hurt anybody. I, I, I got it, my dad. He'll know what to do. Guys, thank you for being my friend. I would have never known the truth without you. 911, what's your emergency? Dad, I've got a real emergency on my head. It's too much to explain. You have to get here immediately. Daisy, are you safe? Is mommy safe? Is mom safe? Is baby Kira safe? Yeah, we're all safe, but basically, the princess has been kicked. What? That, that sounds insane. Don't worry, I'll take care of everything. Thanks, Dad. 
I didn't mean to kidnap her. I, I just wanted my own daughter to have the most successful life she could. Well, lady, you made the wrong choice. You gave up your own daughter and then stole someone else's. That's not okay. Step forth so that the king and queen may sentence you. I can't believe our old maid would do this to us. I know, queen, but we just, we, we probably are going to have to put her in the dungeon. I know. I just, I can't believe she made this choice. What do you have to say for yourself, Margot? I just wanted the best chance for my daughter, and, and she got it. Well, until now. Now she's going to be out on the street without a mom at all. Oh, I didn't think about that, King. What will we do? My queen, we will love our adopted daughter as much as we love our real daughter. They are both our daughters. Yes, that's exactly what we'll do. We've decided that they are both our daughters. You, having acted like a criminal, shall be sentenced to live in the dungeon for 10 years. <gasps> if you do the crime, you do the time. But, but I, I... Would you like to make it 20 years? This isn't a time out. Well, it sort of is. She's been very naughty. Go to the dungeon for 10 years. Sorry, we have very good food here, so you won't starve or anything. Ah, <sighs> well, that takes care of that. Now it's time to see my daughter again. Hi, I'm Sophia. Oh my gosh, you look so much like me. And me. Wow, I can't believe it. You were right all the time, Queen. I, 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 I... I'm sorry I didn't listen to you, my love. It's okay, as long as we're all together now. But I'm going to tell you, we are going to keep Margot's daughter too. She's going to be your adopted sister. Aww. My sweet princess, come meet your sister, the other new princess. Hi, it's nice to meet you. I can't believe you were stolen from my mom and dad, but I'm so excited I finally get a sister. I am too. I feel like I'm finally home. I'm just happy that all of my family is together. Me too. Both of our girls and, well, I don't know if you have a dog, Sophia, but we have one. <coughs> really? I always wanted a dog, but my adopted mom would never let me get one. She made me wear a bag on my head for so many years. Wait, what? Yeah, she said it was so ugly that I would shatter the universe if anybody saw my face. Uh -oh. It was really because she didn't want anyone to see my face and know that I was, well, a missing princess. Well, you are pretty recognizable. You look just like your mother and me. There would have been questions. Yeah, but I'm just glad I'm finally home. We are too, Sophia. We are too. <laughs> to text him. I don't know. Should I? Should I? Should I? Should I? Oh, what if he thinks I'm a dork? What if he doesn't answer? What if he says, leave me alone? You're a loser. Uh oh. Well, my mom always says, if I don't try, I'll never know. So here goes nothing. What should I say? Hey, Dan. No, that seems so lame. Like, like, like I'm desperate to talk to him. How about just like, hey. And then what do I want to say? I want to say, will you go to the dance with me? But um, I'm just too afraid to ask it that way. So um, I guess I'm just going to say, what's up? Did you understand the the math homework? Yeah, that seems like totally random. So uh, it's not like I'm saying like, hey, let's go to the dance together or anything. I'm just asking about math homework. Yeah. Oh, I'm such a dork. Oh my God, dot, dot, dot. He's writing back. Who is this? Oh. Oh, I thought he knew who it would be. Um, It's Laura? Boy, he probably doesn't even know who I am. <gasps> dot, dot, dot! He knows who I am, I think. Or maybe he's gonna be like, leave me alone. Or I'm freaking out about this texting with Dan right now. I have such a huge crush on him. He's so cute. Oh, this is taking forever. What is his reply gonna be? Oh, 
Laura? Oh yeah, that rainbow haired chick from math? Sup? Oh, that's a pretty good response. Um, whoa, look at this cat. <laughs> Grumpy cat. Grumpy cat is perfect. The math homework was so insane. <laughs> At least we're talking. That's a good sign, right? Totally. Anyway? So yeah, he's not that great at typing. Who cares? I'm so in love. Aww. My partner is ready. See you in class later. I think by this text, it means he's totally gonna ask me to the dance. I'm never gonna sleep tonight. Tomorrow's gonna be such a big day. I can just dream about it now. morning already? <sighs> well, today's gonna be the one of the best days of my life because Dan's gonna ask me to the school dance. I can't wait. I can't wait. It's gonna be an amazing day. I'm gonna like look so beautiful. I, I just have to like look so great because I'm gonna... <gasps> ah! What's going on with my face? There, 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 there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven Pimples? Ah, it looks terrible. Oh my God, what are we gonna do? Well, maybe nobody will notice. I mean, I'm a teenager. We get pimples, right? Oh my God, who am I kidding? Everybody's gonna notice. Oh, well, I guess there's no choice but to go to school. And I'll just try to put some makeup on. Yeah, that should cover these pimples. <laughs> I have some really great makeup from Sephora and I just, I just, I, I just gotta use it on these pimples and everything will be okay. Just put a little here and put a little here, put a little here. Later at school. Why can I not get a signal in this school? It's so annoying. Don't they know I need to put up a snap right now? Come on. <laughs> that TikTok is hilarious. <laughs> oh, hey Dan, do you have a signal right now? Yeah, I've been watching TikTok videos. These ones are hilarious. Wanna see? No, not really, but um, hey, going to the dance this Friday? Um, yeah, I think so. I was thinking about this one girl I was gonna ask. Well, um, if you're gonna ask, you better hurry up. She probably will have five other guys asking her in the next 10 minutes. Whoa, you think so? Yeah, she's really popular. Oh, I didn't think she was that popular. What? Yes, she's that popular. Who are we even talking about right now? Oh, uh, sorry, Bunny, but I gotta get going. <laughs> it's time for class. Yeah, okay. See you later, Dan. Bye. Hey, Bunny. I brought you your favorite from Starbucks like I always do. Ah, oh, you forgot to put the extra shot of hazelnut in it, Tiffany. God, can you do anything right? What? Bunny, I even paid for this myself. Do you think it's so rude? Oh, I should totally... Totally post about this online. What? You better not. Or, or I'm going to tell everybody your secret about how you farted at the sleepover. <laughs> what? You wouldn't dare. I would. Okay, Laura, don't panic. It's just a couple little pimples. No one's going to even notice. <laughs> no one. Oh, um, gee. Look who it is. It's Laura. And, oh, what happened to your face? It looks like someone cooked a pizza on it. Um, uh, it's just a couple of pimples. I don't know why it happened. I woke up like this. <laughs> um, can you say loser? <laughs> Ugh, those are gross. Tiffany, what are you doing? Oh, nothing, Laura. Nothing at all. <laughs> well, we better get to class, Bunny. <laughs> we don't want to have to miss our cheerleading competition and the... T teacher said if we missed another day, uh, we couldn't go. Well, see you later, pizza face. Uh, yeah, bye. Oh, no. Hopefully Dan just doesn't notice. I mean, there's not that many pimples, right? Oh, look. I got a new snap. What? What is this? Ugly? Uh, I can't believe I have to be at school today. It's like the worst day to be here. Why couldn't this happen on a Saturday? Oh, my phone's buzzing. What? 
gross? How, how could you put this for everyone to see? Oh my god! I can't show my face in this school ever again! <laughs> Seriously, Tiffany? That was so rude. <laughs> Whatever, Dan. I was just stating the truth. Yeah, Dan, she is a pizza face. Gross. You guys are the meanest ever. What? What did you say to me? I thought you were going to ask me to the dance. Not a chance, Bunny. You're ugly on the inside. And that's a lot worse than having a couple of pimples. I can't believe you said that to me. Oh, you are so rude. <laughs> you wouldn't know the first thing about being nice or rude. Both of you are totally rude. Anyway, I gotta go find Laura. You guys are bullies. Where's Laura? I've looked everywhere for her. <laughs> well, I hear her crying. Well, unless that's the school ghost. That person's creepy. I think that Laura's voice is coming from the janitor's room. I saw once, I think on like TikTok, that you could put just like a tiny bit of bleach on your pimple and then it would burn your face horribly. What am I thinking? Laura, are you in there? Oh, don't look at me. I'm so gross. I have a pizza face. Laura, I don't think you're gross at all. Really? But, but, but. Don't listen to those girls. They're just mean and rude and evil. And I think they're jealous of you because you're so cool. Really? You think that they're just mean and jealous? Yeah. I think you're super cool, and I'm sorry you cried. That made me feel really sad. Aww. Aww. Thanks, Dan. So I was wondering, do you want to go to the school dance with me? Wait, what? Are you serious? Yeah, I mean, it's not very romantic to ask you to go in the janitor's room, but, you know, smells a little bit like, well, an old moldy mop in here, but, you know, <laughs> this is where you were, so... It's okay. I don't mind that you asked me in the janitor's office. I mean, this is office. Uh, no, I don't think that the title's that official, that he gets his own office or anything. Yeah, true. So, um... So I'll pick you up about 8 o'clock? Sounds great. This is a see you then. Bye, Laura. Bye. Whoa. Amazing. Well, well, well. Look who we have here. Little Miss Pizza Face. You can't keep me down, Bunny. I'm going to the school dance with Dan. And he didn't mind if I had a couple of pimples. He thought I was amazing anyway. No, he doesn't. He told me that he just feels sorry for you. No one else would ever ask you to the dance. <gasps> what? Yeah, it's true. He's just feeling like you're a total charity case. So, he invited you to the dance. Oh, I can't believe it. The worst day turned into the best day turned into an even worse day. Well, sorry I had to be the bearer of bad news, Laura, but I am a truth teller, so, you know, have fun with your pizza face. Oh, <laughs> wait a minute. I know what I could do. If I don't have pizza face and I show up at the school dance, then he'll have to think that I'm the most beautiful girl in the world. Yeah, watch me transform to uh, from ugly to model. Hopefully this salon can help me look like a model. That way Dan will think that I'm the prettiest girl and the most amazing girl at the dance. They got really good reviews, so here goes nothing. Oh, hi. How can I help you today? Isn't it obvious? Look at my face. What? What's wrong with your face, honey? It's ugly. What? Your face isn't ugly? Who told you that? Please tell me that you're not saying that to yourself. That's not very nice self-talk. Well, it's true. These mean girls at school told me that I was ugly. Pizza face, even. Pfft. Well, obviously, they don't know what they're talking about. <laughs> the only person I see in front of me is someone that is totally beautiful, gorgeous, model-like, all on her own. What? Are you crazy? Do you need glasses? <laughs> I have pimples all over. So? Pimples don't make you pretty or ugly. You seem like a pretty nice person to me, too. I'd be happy to do your makeup for the dance, but I'm not going to make you into a supermodel. Girl, you already are. But can you cover up these pimples? Sure I can. Those are so easy to cover. They taught us all about it at beauty school. Come on, come sit in my chair. Okay. Oops, I'm not supposed to be sitting down. For some reason, I thought it was break time. <laughs> Just kidding. 
All right, let's see what we can do about those, well, little beauty spots. They're not beauty spots, they're pimples! Yeah, but everybody gets them when they're a teenager. It's totally fine. Now, let's just put a little makeup here, a little makeup here, a little makeup here. Voila, Cinderella, you're ready for the ball. <gasps> you covered them up perfectly! Thank you, Megan! Yes, you're welcome. But remember, you're beautiful no matter what, supermodel. Don't listen to those mean girls. They don't deserve your attention. Don't let them get in your head, okay? Thank you so much. You're the best salon in the whole world. Well, maybe not in the whole world, but at least in Roblox. Oh my gosh, I feel so cute right now. <laughs> this is so adorable. I'm gonna give myself like a little dog face. <laughs> I'm gonna have the best night in my life. Hey, Laura, what you doing? Oh, hey, Dan. I thought I was gonna pick you up from your house. Oh, um, yeah, I just got done at the salon and stuff, so I guess we could just walk to the dance together. Wow, you look amazing. Oh, thank you. You look really handsome. Thanks. I hope we have fun at the dance together. I'm sure that we will. I'm sorry those girls were so mean to you earlier. I, I... I hope that you didn't just ask me to this dance because, well, you didn't want me to go alone and you felt sorry for me. Wait, what? Who told you that? I've liked you for like two months now. Really? Yeah. I didn't know if you liked me back, so I didn't say anything. But then when you sent me that text, like, out of nowhere, I was like, wait, I think she might actually like me. <laughs> You're right. I do like you. I first noticed you in math class. You were really funny. Aw, thanks. Come on, let's go to the dance. Sounds good. Well, I see that Bunny brought her daddy's Bentley to the to the party. Yeah, of course she did. She's spoiled rotten. She totally is. Wow, this dance is going to be so amazing. Well, look who it is. It's Pizza Face. <laughs> Except for my face isn't pizza. It's perfect. Well, not perfect, but pretty close to it. I look amazing. And nothing you say to me is going to make me feel bad about myself ever again, Bunny and Tiffany. You guys are just rude bullies. And besides, I have the cutest boy here ever as my date. So, who are the losers now? Well, he was gonna ask me, but he felt sorry for you. <gasps> Whatever. I'm not even gonna talk to them. Come on, Dan. Let's dance. Oh, I love this song. Whoa. What is he doing? Well, are you gonna dance or not? I mean, I know my dancing's a little weird, but I think you should dance with me. <laughs> are you laughing at my dancing? No, I'm laughing at the fact that you think that you're a better dancer than me. Obviously not. Look at me. I'm the world's best dancer. I'm having the time of my life, Dan. I am too. Hey, do you wanna be my girlfriend? Wait, what? Seriously? Yeah. Sure I do. Hey, Bunny. Hey, Tiffany. You want to put out a Snapchat of Dan asking me to be his girlfriend while I do this crazy awesome dance? Oh, get away from us. No problem. <laughs> Daisy, put on your bathing suit. Come on, we can go in the hot tub. Ooh, that sounds fun, Molly. I'm putting it on right now. Do you have to sing about it, though? Yeah, because look how adorable I look. It's like this 1950s vintage look. Whatever, Daisy. Who cares about your bathing suit? Get in the hot tub. Ooh, the water is too hot. Too hot. Molly, you're being so dramatic. I go hot tub. I go too. No, baby Kira, you're too little. Stay out there. This is for the big kids. Ah. <sighs> That feels awesome. I go in the hot tub. I go, I go. Ah, uh, you have to ask mom because you're not allowed in here without a grown up, and we're not grown ups yet. What's going on out here? I go hot tub with my Daisy. Sorry, I'm making lunch right now, baby Kara, so you can't because I can't watch you. But you're going with the big girls. I don't understand why. 
Well, because you're not a big girl, honey, so you can't go in right now. But maybe later we'll go in, okay? I go get a big girl. Um, baby Kira, newsflash, you're not a big girl. Ha! <laughs> ah, it starts to, like, make you sweat after a while because this hot tub is so hot. That's what it's supposed to be, Monty. A hot tub. Ay, ay, ay. Do you even pay attention in school? Ugh, being in the hot tub made me super hungry. Hmm, I wonder what kind of snacks we have. No, no. Ooh, pizza. What else do we have? Waffles. Ooh, sounds delicious. Hmm, that all looks good. Yeah, if you want a snack, you're going to have to ask Mom. I'm busy right now eating my snack. Okay, I'm not sure that was English, baby Kira. Mmm, so good. Too short, can't wait, hungry. I know I get bottle. I climb up, I get snack. I, I love snack. Oh, fell out. I, I climb up here. <gasps> I win, sir, I win, sir. I get snack too. <gasps> What's going on, baby? Baby Kira, what are you doing with that ladder? You're gonna get hurt. Oh, if you need a snack, you have to ask. My Daisy don't ask. I know they don't ask because they're big girls and you're not. All right, get down from that ladder and I'll get you a snack. Ay, ay, ay. Keeping a toddler alive is the hardest job ever. Marty, what you doing? What you doing? OMG. Look at this new Roblox game. It looks so fun. Ooh, look, there's roller coasters in it. I definitely want to play too. Shovel for Marley. I want a turn. When I die, you can have a turn. But until then, nope. Well, that shouldn't take too long. That's it, Daisy. You are so rude about my Roblox playing. I'm totally going to get you for that. No, you're not, Molly, because you are so slow. Daisy, get back here. Ooh, why do I do fun things on computer? Because I'm big going. Ooh, shopping. Ooh, bank. I could get into bank, get money, and go shopping. Baby Kira, where are you? Baby Kira, you're putting a lot on the computer without supervision. I'm big girl, I can't. No, you can't. Oh my gosh. Ah, <sighs> get off the computer, please. I can't do anything. <laughs> okay, that's it. You need a nap. But my Daisy don't have to take a nap. That's because they're big girls. You're not a big girl. I like it. <laughs> Okay, into bed, please. You definitely need a nap. Fine. I hate my life. <laughs> oh my gosh, you hate your life and you're only two? Oh, you have a long way to go, baby Kira. I'll see you in a couple of hours. I don't see you ever. Because, because I'm running away forever. Baby Kira, it's been two and a half hours, you sleepyhead. Baby Kira? Where, where's Baby Kira? <gasps> Is that window broken? Oh my god! Baby Kira ran away! Molly, Daisy, I need your help! Mom, if you need my help doing more chores, I'm off duty. Oh, I'm so tired. Just need to watch this adorable puppy and relax. And maybe eat an extra piece of pizza. Mmm. Pizza. Molly, help! Help, help! What what are you freaking out about, Mom? What's wrong? Baby Kira, she 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 she, she ran away! What? She she ran away? Yes. I, I don't know what to do, but I'm gonna call 911 and you and your sister should go look for her. Okay, I'll get right on that as soon as I finish my pizza. Molly, no! Okay, I'll take my pizza to go! Baby Kira! Baby Kira, where are you? I don't need this. I need to do to jump I'm a big girl. Baby Kira, baby Kira, where are you? Baby Kira. Well, maybe she got a hotel room. Wait a minute, how would she do that? She, she doesn't have any money. <gasps> maybe she stole mom's credit card. I should go in and ask the person behind the desk. Hello? Is anybody here? Apparently, they're sleeping in one of the rooms because they're tired. <laughs> just log in myself and see if she's checked in. Baby Kira. Okay, she didn't check into the motel. Hmm. She's sitting in the diner? Good thing I ate that pizza because I'm doing a lot of running around. 
No, she's not in the diner. Baby Kira, where are you? We miss you so much. Wait a minute, if I was Baby Kira, where would I go? The ice cream shop. Although I think they're closed right now because it's already like 7.30 at night. No, no, Baby Kira, but they left the doors open. So I think I need a mint chocolate chip ice cream. Mm. Huh, why is my phone ringing? Hello? <laughs> Molly, are you at the ice cream shop right now? Um, uh, uh. How did you know that, Mom? Because I just had an idea that you'd have to stop for a snack. Your sister is more important than mint chocolate chip, right? Uh, yeah, sure, Mom, totally. I've been looking around for her, though, and I don't see her. Keep looking, Molly. I'm so worried. Yeah, me too. But I'm sure everything's gonna be okay. I hope so. I really hope so. <laughs> Baby Kira? What? What are you... What are you doing? You put up a tent? Ew, what's that smell? A sandwich I got from the dumpster. Ew, don't eat dumpster sandwiches. What's going on? Baby Kira? Oh my god, we found her. Baby Kira, you have to come home. I'm never gonna come. Back home. I don't want you. I stay here. Why? We're your family. Don't you love us? You don't love me. Baby Kira, that's not true. We love you more than anything. Why would you say that? Yeah, Baby Kira, why would you say that? Because... Cause you guys are big girl said die die. Oh, you're not a big girl? No, you're not. But you know what? Daisy and I were little girls like you once. You were? Yeah, we were, huh, Daisy? Yeah, we were toddlers and we pooped our pants and all sorts of stuff. Well, <laughs> we didn't have to tell her that detail. You did? You wore diapers? And you were big girls? Of course we weren't big girls. <laughs> you don't just come out this way. I mean, you have to grow. Pretty soon. You'll grow up too. Really? Dad can do big girl stuff? Of course you can, Baby Kira. It's only a matter of time before you grow up. Yeah, Baby Kira. And then you'll be able to do all the big kid stuff just like us. Wow, Freddy, how long? Um, just a few more years. Then you'll be a big girl. But you should enjoy being a toddler right now because it's pretty amazing to be a baby. You get lots of snuggles from mom, you get bottles, you get someone to change your diaper. Oh. Molly! Seems like I need someone to change my diaper. <laughs> Ew, dinky. <laughs> so will you come home with us? Yeah, I miss you guys. Oh, we missed you too, baby Kira. No more running away. Yeah, no more running away. I big girl someday. That's right, someday you're gonna be a big girl. Okay, Molly, I'd like you to do problem number three from your workbook up here on the board in front of the class. Um, eh, uh, Come on, Molly, quit stalling. It's your turn at the board. If Michael has six eggs and Luke takes one egg and drops it and Sarah takes three eggs and cooks breakfast and Mitchell has an egg for his dog, how many eggs does is there left um uh, uh molly this is a review question you should know this already it's the end of the school year did you study at all um well um no molly okay that's it you have detention oh man i need to find a new book to read Ooh, what's this a joke book? <laughs> Sounds exactly like the book I'd like to read. What do you get when you cross a snail with a porcupine? A slowpoke! <laughs> Excuse me, did you not read the sign? This is the library. Shh! <laughs> this is a funny joke, a slowpoke. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna read another. Um. What do you call an elephant that doesn't matter? An irrelevant. <laughs> excuse, excuse me, this is the library. Why are you so loud? Um, well, why did you put a joke book in the library? Because if, if you don't want me to be laughing and loud, you shouldn't have put a joke book in here. That's it. I'm writing you up. Oh boy, not again. Ooh, hi Matilda. Ooh, the 
the pizza looks delicious today. Only one slice per student. Okay, lunch lady, okay. Hey, what's that over there? What's what? <laughs> Two slices for me, oh yeah. Mommy, she said only one. Who took the extra slice of pizza? Was that you? Molly, I'm writing you up. Oh, man. Mom, I'm home from school. Oh, just who I wanted to see. Why, did you make me cupcakes? Oh, you missed me so much, didn't you, Mom? Molly, I have so many slips from so many people here. You were naughty in the library. You you didn't do your math work. Y you were naughty in the lunchroom. Like, Molly, uh, I have no choice but to take away your phone. My phone? You wouldn't dare. Molly, I am your mother and I'm not your friend. I, 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 I want to be your friend, but when you're naughty like this, I, I have to be your mother. So I'm sticking by my word. You're grounded from your phone for two weeks. What? Two weeks. Um, okay, Mom, I understand. Wait, what? What? You do? Yeah, I gotta go poo-poo. See you later. Okay. <laughs> I'm glad we had this talk. Try not to get in trouble. Yeah, right. Trouble's my middle name. It's boring to be in the bathroom without your phone. That's okay. Mom will never know I'm playing on it. <laughs> Mom will never know if I'm playing Roblox in the bathroom. She'll just think I have a stomach ache. <laughs> Molly? Molly! I thought, ew, it smells funny in here. I know, I had to go to the bathroom. Well, but you're on your phone. I said you were grounded. Oh, man, you outsmarted me, Mom. Well, I am pretty smart, you know. And and give me your phone right now. Oh, Mom. I'm going to lock your phone so you can't play Roblox for two weeks. Only emergency calls. That's what I'm locking it for. Oh, Mom, this is terrible. Why do you have to be so smart? Would you rather I was a dumb mom? Um, yes. That's precisely what I wish you would be. Molly, what is that? It's a spell book? Where did you get that? The library. Apparently joke books aren't allowed, so I looked up this spell book on the computer and it said they had it in stock in the library, so I rented it. <laughs> now watch this. Alakazam! Alakazee! When I say dumb, that's what you'll be! What? What's happening? I feel... I feel... Exactly the same, Molly. That's a ridiculous spell book. Okay, if you say so, Mom. Molly, uh, you ate all the treats in the refrigerator and left a huge mess in the sink. Why don't you do these dishes? I would, Mom, but um, I'm too dumb. <laughs> what did I just say? <laughs> I don't even remember. Whoa, Mom. Are you okay? I think so. <laughs> I was, uh, who was I talking about? I can't remember. Uh, I think you said you were going to do the dishes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Wait, how do I turn on the water faucet? <laughs> uh, you, ju you just click right here like that. Oh, <laughs> good thing my daughter's so smart. <laughs> uh, okay, okay, Mom. As soon as she's done with these dishes, I'll say the word smart so she goes back to being normal. <laughs> she's a little crazy like this. Smart! Whoa, that was weird. I could have swore I asked Molly to do the dishes. <laughs> My plan is working perfectly. Mom won't mind if I get on Roblox on the computer. She just said I was grounded on my phone. <laughs> Loophole! Molly, what are you doing? You're not supposed to be playing Roblox. You're supposed to be doing your math homework. Um, well, I can't because it's too hard. And I'm too dumb. <laughs> what are you talking about, Molly? That math homework's probably super easy. <laughs> oh, yeah? You want to give it a try? What's one plus one? <laughs> one plus one what? Okay, one apple plus one apple equals how many apples? <laughs> Five! Oh my gosh! Did 
I get it right? <laughs> you didn't. <laughs> Not even close. Well, <laughs> if you don't understand your math, and neither do I, I guess you can't do it then. That's right, Mom. <laughs> I'm gonna go watch some TV. Uh, but don't worry, Mom. You're really smart. Hmm, that's strange. Why am I standing in front of the computer? I'm not feeling very good today. Hi, everybody. I'm home. Oh, no. Here comes my annoying sister. She ruins everything. Molly, what exactly are you talking about? I'm the world's best sister. <laughs> yeah, right. Go away. I'm a little busy. Um, Molly, why don't you help me set the table for dinner? I would, Mom, but I'm feeling a little dumb. What? What did you say? Dumb. Dumb, 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 dumb. <laughs> what was I just doing? <laughs> oh, I think I was making dinner, but I don't know how. How do, you, how do you boil water? I'm not really sure. What is going on with Mom? Molly, did you cast a spell on Mom? Yeah, so what if I did? She decided to ground me for my phone. Probably because you deserved it. You got written up five million times today. <gasps> Molly, this is evil. Go away. I don't need you to tell me what's good and bad. Oh, boy. I know how to solve this. Mom, you put the water on the stove and turn on the stove. And then you have to set the table. Oh, <laughs> you're right. I almost forgot. <laughs> You're smart, Mom. You'll figure it out. Whoa, what, what's going on with me? Molly, I'm going to give you one more chance to not do this anymore and reverse the spell. Nah. Um, wait. Uh, even if I wanted to, I, I don't know where the book is. That's because I have it. Daisy, give me back my spell book right now. I don't think so. Mom's rubble and your glue. Whatever you've cursed her with bounces off her and sticks to you. How's that for a spell? Dum, 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 dum. Whoa, I feel kind of dumb. <laughs> oh, wait, where did everybody go? Well, is anybody home? <laughs> Molly, are you feeling okay? <laughs> Molly, can you speak English or human even? I don't know. <laughs> I feel kind of dumb. <laughs> oh my gosh, Molly, you're drooling on yourself. Oh my goodness, we better take you to the hospital. I think you might have a concussion. <laughs> definitely messed up. just like my annoying mom. Molly, I'm not annoying, I'm your mom. Huh, what? Oh, sorry about that, mom. Molly, it's time for school. Go on, brush your teeth, come downstairs, get ready for school, okay? Okay, mom. What do you think you say? Molly, do not get back into that bed. Okay, Molly, I guess you just won't have pancakes. Mm. I'm up, I'm up. Good morning, lazy bones. Whatever. You get up early and that's your choice because you're crazy. Gonna beat you downstairs. <laughs> Molly, get out of the way. <laughs> beat you. I get one more pancake because I beat Daisy. Um, Molly, that's not how that works. It's how it works. It ha it's how, Mom. I get one more pancake because I made it down the stairs before she did. Oh, really? Well, when you get detention, does that mean I get to eat your dessert tonight? Because you won't be home? Huh? What? No. Seems pretty fair to me. Ugh, my sister is so annoying. Ditto, Molly. Holy guacamole, these look amazing. 
Melly, why'd you just throw your pancakes on the floor? Um, oopsie. Sometimes this game just like throws the pancakes around. I don't really know why. Roblox glitch. Mm, mom, these pancakes are out of this world. Yeah, mom, they are pretty good. I want some more. Molly, are you sure? You might get a stomachache if you eat too many. Especially with that much syrup and butter. Nah, I've got a stomach like a billy goat. I literally could eat some tin cans if I wanted to. <laughs> I could just see you eating some tin cans. <laughs> more cans! Still hungry, bah! I like to Snapchat! <laughs> Goat. What? Nothing. <laughs> All right, girls, time for school. Molly, stop eating so many pancakes. You really are gonna get a stomach ache. What? No, I'm not. Mm, that's really good. Molly, you're gonna explode. I thought we already talked about this. I have a stomach like a billy goat. I'm taking the rest with me. Bye, mom. Have a great day. Bye, girls. Can't believe you're still eating those pancakes. Hey guys, just making a snap because I think my outfit is adorable today. Um, that's the outfit you wear, like, every single day, Brookie. <laughs> yeah, but I still love it. That's why I wear it every day. Okay, if you say so. Hey, everybody, it's me, Molly. Molly, are you eating your pancakes at school? Aren't you supposed to eat those at home? She already did eat three platefuls at home. Oh, I got a snap. It's from my friend, Brookie. <laughs> There's me in the background eating so many pancakes. All right, I'm going to reply to her. <laughs> yum, yum. <laughs> good morning, a good morning, good morning. This is Principal Boopity Boop on the microphone. Yeah, yeah. You guys know I love talking on the intercom. <laughs> anyway, I wanted to tell you that two of our teachers are out sick today. So our math class will be run by a substitute teacher. I expect you all to behave. If not, I'll see you in the principal's office. <laughs> Good morning, class. You probably remember me from substituting at another time. I miss Bellevue. Oh no, more like Miss Beehive. Look at that hair. I'm sure bees will swarm out of there at any minute. Good morning, Miss Bellevue. I don't like students who try to be a teacher's pet. What? I was just saying good morning. You seem like teacher's pet material. Well, <laughs> she does have a point there. Yeah, Daisy. Try not to just be like, I am Daisy. I'm the best student in the whole world. If you think for even one minute you're not going to do all your work plus extra. You've never met me before. This is going to be the longest math class of my life. Excuse me, excuse me. Oh, what time is lunch? I'm starving. Molly, you just ate four plates of pancakes. I don't want to hear another word out of you. You. I remember you. Is it because I'm a famous YouTuber? Oh, I can sign your autograph if you want. Molly, I don't think that's exactly what she remembers you by. You are the most rapid student that ever was. Wow, harsh lady. Now zip your lips and get started on your math. Um, okay. These little brats. <laughs> Molly, what's so funny? You're gonna get in trouble. Did you just hear that? Miss Beehive farted. <laughs> Molly, seriously, be quiet. You're gonna get detention with her. I can't stop laughing. Oh, it smells so bad. Oh, what did she eat? A sauerkraut sandwich for breakfast? <laughs> Excuse me. Are you laughing right now? No laughing in math class! Whoa, harsh. Ugh, I don't know if it's that stinky toot or I ate too many pancakes. I hate to admit that, but my stomach kind of hurts. Molly, are you okay? 
I hear your stomach rumbling all the way back here. Are you really hungry again? I thought it was, but now my stomach feels kind of sick. Uh-oh! Maybe you should go to the nurse's office. Yeah, maybe I should. Excuse me, Miss Beehive. I miss, mean Miss Bellevue. Um, my stomach kind of hurts, and I need to go to, to the school nurse. What? No one is allowed to leave my class. Well, I am if I have a stomach ache. Excuses, excuses. Can I at least go to the bathroom? I think I might need to. Please. I don't have to go to the bathroom in class. Well, uh, maybe you should have because that fart you left was really unfriendly. What? Get to your seat right away before you get detention for a year. Uh, okay. Molly, are you okay? No, I really don't feel good. I, I feel like I might throw up. Oh, Molly, did she say you can't go to the nurse's office? Yeah. Should I try to text my mom? If you take out your phone in this class, she's definitely going to give you in-school suspension. Can you imagine spending every waking moment with that woman for an entire week? No, not really. I really have to go to the bathroom. Excuse me! Miss Bellevue, please! I need to go... I need to go to the nurse! You are a faker! There's nothing wrong with you. Now go sit down! Uh, Miss Bellevue, Molly doesn't look so good. I don't feel so good. Oh my god, she's gonna blow! What are you doing, child? I'm puking on your desk! <laughs> so good. Oh, I went the wrong way. Uh, I think I might throw up again. Uh, nurse's office? Toilet. Nurse's office? Toilet! Definitely need to go to the toilet. Uh, why is the door not opening? Excuse me, there's someone in here. Don't be rude. Sorry. How about this one? Um, I'm going to the bathroom. God. Ah, I can't hold it. Oh, I'm going to throw up in the sink. Oh, God. Oh, God. Blech. Ew, gross! Yeah, that is gross. Couldn't you throw up somewhere else? No, you were taking up the bathroom! Oh my, what's wrong with you? Wait a minute, you're the one that always fakes being sick. Did you paint your skin green? Huh, no, I threw up on my teacher's desk. Mrs. Beehive. What? You threw up on Miss Beehive's desk? Oh, man, she was a substitute teacher when I was a kid. Oh, I can't believe she's still alive. Yeah, me either. She's like a vampire or something. So what seems to be the problem today? Remind me of your name? Molly. You think I remembered that since you're in here so much. Here, lay down on the magic cot and I'll see what I can do. Can you see about making me stop throwing up? Oh, sweetie, is that what's going on? Here, let me see if I can go get you a mask, because I definitely don't want the stomach bug. Hmm, oh, I'm all out of masks. Well, this will have to do. There we go. Keep your germs to yourself, I always say. Lady, you put a paper bag over my head, and I'm going to throw up. Oh, no. I better call your mom. Stat. Too late. I threw up all over my paper bag. <laughs> oh, my gosh. All right, I'm calling your mom now. Hello? Hi, Mrs. Acker. This is the school nurse. Oh, no, not again. She's, she's faking it. I am not, Mom. I'm throwing up. Your daughter is throwing up quite a lot. She even threw up through her paper bag. Wait, what? Threw up through her paper bag? What are you talking about? Never mind. I was on a face mask. It's a long story. She probably just ate too many pancakes. She was a total pig this morning at breakfast. Mom, it's not that. Oh, tell her to come get me, please. Okay, Molly. I'm sad to hear she's actually sick. I never know with her. Sometimes she fakes it, you know what I mean? I know what you mean, Mrs. Acker. She's down here at least twice a month. Or like twice a week. Well, <laughs> depends on if I missed my homework or not. Oopsie. <gasps> Molly. Oh my gosh. You look terrible. I mean, I think you do. You're wearing that bag on your head, so it's kind of hard to tell. I'm dying. I feel terrible. <laughs> it's 
say, okay, Molly, come on, let's get in the car and go home. Okay. Ugh, if I can move. Am I moving? Mm, no, Molly. How about now? Come on, I'll give you a piggyback ride. Thanks, Mom. You're the best. Anything for you, Molly. I'm so sad you're sick, honey. Me too. Oh. If I recall, you were just sick like, what, not even a month ago? Yeah, and I caught something else. If you know what this means, school is full of germs. I probably shouldn't go to school anymore. <laughs> nice try, Molly. Nice try. Mom, did you just... Ow, did you just drop me? Sorry, I didn't mean to. Sometimes when I teleport in Roblox, it doesn't quite work the way I thought it would. Can you get up on your own, Molly? Uh, nope. I've fallen and I can't get up. Or is it that I've been dropped and I can't get up? Sorry about that. It was a glitch in the game. I swear it. I'm not a bad mom. Molly, are you in your room? Yeah, I'm in here, Mom. Oh, I got the thermometer, honey. Let's take your temperature, okay? Whoa! 103! You better lay down right away, honey. I would if I didn't have to run to the bathroom again! Oh, man. Oh, man. I'm not gonna make it. I'm not gonna make it. I'm not gonna make it! Huh, I made it. Wait a minute. Where's the toilet? Mom! Who stole the toilet? Oh, uh, yeah. Dad had to take that out this morning because it was leaking. What? We don't have a toilet? Oh, God. Oh, God. Well, I guess I could just, uh... Uh-oh. Clean up. Aisle number seven. Yeah. Okay, Molly. Just try to get some sleep. That's what's going to make everything better. I promise. <sighs> and now I'll go clean up the bathroom. <laughs> Brookie. Is that you? This illness has made me blind! Really, Molly? No, just kidding. But it has really, really stunk a whole lot. Molly, I wanted to make you a get well soon card, but Miss Beehive wouldn't let me. She said you were an evil student for puking on her desk. Yeah, sounds like her. So instead, I brought you all your homework. What? Is that some sort of cruel prank? Uh, no, there's a lot of it, too. <laughs> you still have to do your homework even when you're out of school sick. Huh? What? No. That doesn't seem right. You mean I have to poo-poo and puke every five seconds and also try to do uh, all my math problems? Uh, no, that's not happening. It's a school policy. I brought you your homework anyway. That's not a gift! Oh, sorry, Molly. Do you want a popsicle or anything before I leave? Did you just talk about food? Oh! Oh my god, Molly, don't throw up. Please, not on me. Sorry, Brookie, I'll see you later. I have to go to the bathroom again. And this time I have to go to the master bathroom because last time I went to the guest bath and there was no toilet and, well, things got a little bit crazy town. Well, won't this toilet lid open? What? What's wrong with this toilet? Ah! <laughs> ah! Every toilet in my house is missing or broken. Well... I feel super dizzy. I don't, I don't feel so good. Wow, that was the longest bus ride ever. I gotta go to the bathroom. La, la, la. <gasps> Molly! Oh my god, Molly! Mom! Call 911! Molly, say something. Molly! Molly! <coughs> Just hold on, Molly. The doctor will be back with the test results any moment. Uh... I know. I think you're an annoying Cecil, but not annoying enough to lose you. Molly, please. Get better soon. Uh, uh, uh. Hi, I'm your doctor, Dr. Brittany. How are you guys doing today? Um, well, we've been better. My sister is, like, dying or something. What did the test results say, doctor? What did this, the test results say? Oh, yeah, the test results are in, and it looks like we're going to have to remove... Your daughter's four stomachs. What? Four stomachs? What's that? Doesn't she have one? Oh, F-O-R-E. Four stomachs. <laughs> They're the stomachs before you get to the actual stomach. Wait, what? Like a goat? <laughs> I knew she was pot goat. What? That's not right. Are you even a real doctor? Yeah. A doctor of animal medicine? <laughs> I'm a veterinarian. <laughs> Why are you at the people hospital 
then? This is for humans. Well, they couldn't find anyone to cover the doctor's shift, and he had to go on a cruise to the Bahamas. Something about being overworked or something. Get us a real doctor right now! My daughter's not a goat! Well, she does eat like one. Daisy, we have to find your sister a real doctor. Okay, okay, fine. I'll have the other doctor come in. We're really short-staffed, you know. You could have just used the veterinarian. Uh... Hold on, Molly. A real doctor's gonna come in this time. That treats humans, not goats. Well, hello there. I'm Dr. Steve. Are you a real doctor or do you take care of goats? Oh, yeah. Sorry about that. We're shorthanded today. Look, I take a look at your daughter's test results, and it looks like she has appendicitis. What? Well, I guess that's an actual human disease. What are we going to do? Medicine? I'm afraid your daughter needs surgery to remove her appendix. Molly! Oh, no! Don't worry. This is a very routine surgery, and your sister will feel all better when it's done. Ah. Plus, she can eat as much ice cream as she wants when it's done. Did somebody say ice cream? Ah. Good luck, Molly. We love you. Your dad will be here any minute. I've already called him. Yeah, Molly, he's on his way. Ah. I love you all. I love you all. Molly, wake up. The surgery is over. Molly. Molly, wake up. Your surgery is over. Ah, uh what? -huh. Where am I? Oh, I feel so weird. Huh? Uh, uh. Oh my god! They turned her into a goat! Oh no! The veterinarian must have done the surgery! Wait! What? <laughs> oh my god, Molly, I can't believe it! You all really put Billy Go! I can't believe this! I've got to Snapchat it. Oh, there must be some sort of mistake. They could fix this, right? I don't know, Mom. I think Molly might be a goat forever. And also, she's not very good at Snapchat. Look at her. She can't even, like, like aim the Snapchat. Okay, you're rude. I'm going to bite your booty. Molly, be nice to your sister. I know you're a goat, and that's really hard and everything, but... Molly, wake up. You're back in your room. The surgery's over. Oh my god! I'm a goat! I'm a goat! <laughs> Must be the anesthesia still wearing off. Molly, you're not a goat. Where's my phone? Give me my phone! It's right here, Molly! Oh my god. Oh my god, am I a goat? Am I a goat? Ah! It's my regular face! Thank god! It's normal for the anesthesia to make your daughter feel a little bit crazy at times. It'll wear off soon enough. I have a special surprise for you, Molly! Um, okay, Dr. Steve, what is it? Tell me it's not that I'm a billy goat. No, it's your appendix in a jar. You want to take it home? Ew! Ew! Gross! Oh, really? I think it's cool. Sure, yeah, that belonged to me, so... Just never open it, because if you do, it'll make your entire house stink like a dead zombie. Okay, cool. Can I have all that ice cream now? You sure can. Oh, Molly, I'm so glad you're okay. Do I have to do homework? Yes, Molly. Everybody knows that even if you have your billy goat stomach taken out, you still have to do homework. What? <laughs> oh, that's the way of the world. <laughs>
bouncy bird. Ooh, this looks fun too. Wait, did I just die? <laughs> oh! Oh, I gotta keep making it bounce. Oh, I ran into the wall! <laughs> I don't have any money right now, so I have to just keep starting from the beginning. Just going along, being a little bouncy bird. Molly, mom said you only had a couple of minutes. Daisy, quit telling me what to do. Oh, my sister is kind of annoying because she likes to tell me what to do. And really, she's not my mom, so she can't tell me for reals. Oh, I died again. Excuse me, Molly. I need to vacuum under your feet. No excuse for you. <laughs> okay, get vacuuming. Molly, you're so rude. I'd like you to see one day of how I go to school and how I do my morning and night routines and how you do. Uh, no, that doesn't sound fun. And besides, I do plenty. Oh, uh, really? We'll see about that. My sister is the laziest person at the entire planet. Definitely entire Roblox. She is so lazy. She never does a night routine, her morning routine, her school routine, or any routine, except for playing on her phone. I'm going to expose her on Snapchat, and she'll have no choice but to, well, see her evil ways. Hey, Daisy, what are you doing? Daisy, what are you doing? Daisy, what are you doing? Marty, quit, quit making me look ridiculous on Snapchat right now. <laughs> look at us, we look crazy. Uh, Marty, don't you have some homework to do or something? Who, me? No, I didn't need to do any homework. Molly, we're in the same school, in the same classes. We had homework. Uh-huh, yep, whatever. Woman goes missing for years. Holy guacamole, that's kind of crazy. What else? Uh, cooking channel? No, that just makes me hungry. Gymnastics, this looks good. Hey, Molly, what are you doing right now? What are you doing? Oh, uh, just texting Pookie. Yeah, that's it. <gasps> I'm relaxing. Mom said we have to do a night routine. Night routine? What's a night routine? Molly! Um, this is my night routine. Chill on the couch, play on my phone, repeat. All right, where's my games again? I definitely got to try that bouncy bird one more time. So keep losing. Oh, why? <laughs> Molly, is that all you do is play that game? Pretty much. It's my life. Oh, I'm gonna make it past this part. Ah! Oh, this game is so hard. All right, um, what is wrong with me? I feel like such a bouncy bird noob. That time I actually made it. Oh! Ooh. I made it to two! Oh, let's keep trying. Um, Molly, don't you wanna brush your teeth or take a shower or anything? We have school tomorrow. Your breath is gonna smell really bad. Ah, uh, nah, I'm still gonna play this game. Perfect. I have all the evidence I need that my sister's lazy. Well, I do all the chores, and I'm the good daughter. All I have to do is click this, and everyone's gonna see it. Well, Molly, be prepared. While I wait for my friend Megan to get here, I'm just gonna make a cute little snap since I'm about to get some dog food for my new puppy. Oh, he looks so cute. Look at me. Hey, everybody. I'm getting a um, well, I already got the puppy, but I'm getting some dog food and toys for my new puppy. He is adorable. Can't wait to show you guys him. Whoa, I'm getting new snaps. Hey, girl, what's up? Oh, hey. <laughs> I'm glad you came to the pet store and helped me pick out all these toys. No problem. I can't wait to believe that you got a puppy. That's amazing. Did you see that snap about that girl's Molly that goes to our school? What? No. What about it? Did she get a puppy too? No. She's just like so lazy. She doesn't do anything like ever except for sit on the couch while her sister Daisy does everything. Wait. Are you serious? She's really lazy? Yeah. Totally. Uh-oh. Ugh. Being that lazy is so gross. I know, right? She doesn't even brush her teeth or her hair or anything. Lame. Ew, gross. Yes. Dude, you ready to skateboard? Uh, look, Luke, I don't want to tell you this, but were you planning on asking Molly to the dance? Yeah, Bacon, why? Because, dude, she doesn't brush her teeth or her hair or anything. Gross. Wait, what? Yeah, look at her sister Daisy's latest snap. She's just sitting there on the couch, like, totally lazy. Whoa, I didn't know Molly was like that. Neither did I, but... Apparently her sister said that she's like this all the time. 
I would really think about not asking her to the dance. <gasps> yeah, I'm gonna text her and let her know that, um, I don't think so. Oh, I got a text. I wonder who from. It's from Lou. Dear Molly, I'm sorry, but I'm not going to be asking you to go to the dance because you don't brush your teeth or your hair. <laughs> what? Daisy, did you tell Luke that I don't brush my hair or my teeth? Uh-oh. Daisy! Um, can't talk right now, Molly, but I may have made a Snapchat about how lazy you are. What? Daisy! Daisy, where are you? When I find you... <laughs> um, again, can't be here right now, Molly. Gotta go. Got lots of homework. Daisy, open the store right now. Well, Molly, only, um, if you decide to not be lazy and leave all the chores to me. Daisy, open this door. Ugh. Molly. Seriously, this is my room. You can't just come in here. Well, I did. You think that your night routine is so difficult? Well, why don't we just see about that? Why, you want to switch with me, Molly? I sure do, Daisy. Your night routine can't be hard at all. <laughs> okay, Molly, I'm going to go sit on the couch and play on my phone. Have uh, lots of fun doing all the homework, all the rest of the chores. There's dishes in the sink. Uh -oh. Also, the bathroom needs scrub. Ew, the toilet? <laughs> yep, you get to do it, Molly. Oh, man. I don't want to scrub the toilet. Gross. Yeah. Can't be that difficult, though. Ugh, it looks like there's doo-doo in there. Gross. Well, this is one way to take care of the yuckiness in the toilet. Ah, just vacuum it out of there. See, that wasn't difficult at all. Uh, but I may have ruined the, ruined the vacuum because I think I sucked up lots of water and maybe a poop. <laughs> wow, I never knew how great it was to be lazy. Lazy. I like being lazy. Molly, what are you doing? You can't sit down right now. Well, I just cleaned the toilet with the vacuum and it was a lot of work. Uh-oh. What? You, how did you clean the toilet with the vacuum? I just sucked everything out of there. Molly, you probably ruined the vacuum. I'm hiding under the couch. I don't want to get caught by mom. <laughs> It'll be fine. You can tell her I did it. I'm not ashamed that I wanted to clean the bathroom that way. Totally worked, too. Wow, this is a lot of dishes. Aw. Keep washing, Molly. No soap. What am I going to do now? Well, I guess I'll just put them away like this. No one will really notice if there's just a little bit of food on them. Right? I don't really even think they need to get washed. Or maybe I could call Gracie and Cleo, our dogs, to come in here and lick them. <coughs> That's an even better idea. Gracie, Cleo! <coughs> come on! Come and lick these plates nice and clean. Yeah. Pretty clean. I mean, if you don't like dog slobber on your plate, I guess you could just not eat on one next time. <laughs> but I don't mind. A little dog slobber no never bothered me any. Finally, I can sit down and watch some TV. I don't think so, Molly. You still have to do all your homework. Ooh. Oh, I know, right? Being mature is a lot of work. Oh, I can't wait to play this next game. This homework is so boring. Uh -oh. Gotta fall asleep. <laughs> Molly, wake up! What, 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 what? Don't be falling asleep and drooling on your homework. You're going to fail. Everybody gets a D for drool. <laughs> well, Molly, how was switching knife routines? Um, it was, it was easy as can be. Except for the fact that look at all this dust all over the bathroom. <laughs> Ew, Daisy! I guess you're going to have to clean this toilet again before you go to bed. <laughs> Ew, da Daisy! <laughs> this is just rude. I want my old routine back. I quit. <laughs> Molly, you can't just quit. What are you doing? Nope, 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 nope. I quit. <laughs> Here's Molly saying that I'm lazy. Um, totally and completely. If you don't like that about me, well, I don't know what to tell you. I, I do, I do brush my teeth though, like every day. But I also play a lot of games. And I like to take snaps too. And I look so silly and cute. Aww. And that's way more important to me than cleaning all the toilets. So I guess I'll take my life back. No, Molly, I like your life better. Well, I'm going to keep it. Wait, what? But, but, but I'm used to you cleaning everything. Yeah, and I'm used to you being lazy. So it looks like we're going to have to divide it up equally. Uh, 
Well, at least you can get some help and you don't have to do it all by yourself. Now you know how I feel. Okay, Daisy, but I'm not cleaning the potties. I'll do the dishes. Fine, Molly. It's a deal. <laughs> La 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 la. Mmm, this dinner smells delicious, doesn't it, baby Kira? Oh, sweetheart, is that cold getting you down? I don't like being sick. Well, this delicious and nutritious dinner should make you feel so much better. I want you to hold me. Oh, honey, I can't hold you right now. I'm I'm trying to make dinner. I just can't Oh, honey, I'm so sorry. Yes, Daisy. I'm a little busy making dinner and dealing with the fact your sister is sick. Well, you want to know this. Molly is driving me crazy. She even tried to pull my pigtails, and she said that I was being a tooth. What? What did she say? A tooth. Oh, my goodness. Daisy, you tattletale. You always have to tell Mom everything that happens between us. And, 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 and I just, ugh. Come here, Daisy. Girls, stop, stop this right now. Get back here, Daisy. I'm, I'm going to get you, Daisy. And what I do, girls. Oh, my gosh. I can't even right now. I'm, I'm definitely going to need to call some help. I wonder if the babysitter's available. Girl, girls. I don't think so, Molly. You stay away from me. You put my pigtails and call me names. Ugh, I have a good mind to ground you both. But I didn't do anything. I didn't get your body, did you? Huh, I just need a break for a minute. Oh. Hi, Maggie's babysitting service. What can I do for you? Oh, hey, Molly. Maggie, it's Mrs. Acker, and, well, uh, I'm just having, like, the worst day ever. I have so much work to do for my job. My daughter, my littlest daughter is sick. I'm trying to make dinner. My oldest daughters are fighting. My husband's away for a work training, and I could just really use you for a couple of hours. Can you come in? <gasps> what? I can barely hear you. Sorry, I'm on a Jamaica vacation right now, uh -oh. and, um... I'm nowhere near Brookhaven. Oh, okay, thanks anyway, Maggie. Bye. Uh, maybe Susie's available. All right, let's try this one. Yo, what's up? It's Susie. I'm not going to be home for a week because I'm on vacation. What? Is everybody taking a vacation in January? Doesn't anybody work anymore? Oh, well, this leaves me no choice but to call their grandma my mother-in-law is well sort of a karen even though her name isn't really karen but anyway she's the only one that'll be available hello oh hi it's your daughter-in-law and i could really use some help why you can't manage your own children well, I mean, yeah, I can, but I'm trying to make dinner, and I have work, and um, baby Kira's got a cold, and the older girls are fighting, and could you come over for a couple of hours? Oh, I see. So your children are extra naughty. I'll handle that. Hello? Um, are you coming over? Hello? This is war, Molly. Oh, yeah? Well, guess what I'm doing? I don't know, but you're not going to win. I don't want you. I have a good win. Holy guacamole. What are you two girls doing? Put those things down right now. Your grandmother's on her way. You mean your mom? No, your dad's mom. What? No, she, she, she can't come over here. Uh, Molly, I think that we could just get along, right? I don't know about that. You're really annoying. But you're annoying too. And this is precisely why your grandmother is coming to watch you. Oh, no. Everybody knows that we have the strictest grandmother in the entire world. Never fear. Your grandmother is here. Well, good. Maybe you could tell Daisy to be, um, like, a little less annoying by, like, a thousand percent. Me annoying? 
You're the one that blah, 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 blahs all the time. You never stop talking, not ever. Uh -oh. And your stomach never stops growling evil. Okay, girls, that's quite enough. The next person that complains is grumpy, has a sour attitude, or fights, will be, um, cleaning out the toilets. Say what? Granny, you bonkers. <laughs> like, seriously, I'm not cleaning out a toilet. <laughs> Molly, you farted. Maybe you need to use the toilet. <laughs> hey, don't tease me. I had a bean burrito for lunch. I feel good, yeah. Well, you can complain a little bit because you're sick. That's totally acceptable. But you bigger girls, there's nothing wrong with you. Now get to doing your homework. Homework, small work. Triple bar, won't work. Really, Molly, that didn't even make sense. That's what I mean. You always yak, yak, yakin'. Shh. I'm trying to concentrate on this math homework. It's very difficult. It's making my brain feel like it's going to melt. Well, I'm done with my homework, so I get to just sit here and play on my iPad. Blah, blah, blah. Don't sit next to me. You're sitting too close. You're annoying. What? No, I'm not. Why can't I sit here? You smell like a, like a stinky monkey. <laughs> you're so rude. How come you're even my sister? Get back here. I'm going to pull your pigtails. Oh my, you girls stop that right now or both of you will be scrubbing the toilet. But, but Grandma, she's being so annoying. She's being so annoying. You know what? I warned you girls and now I can see not even scrubbing toilets is going to solve this problem. So I've decided that for the next two 24 hours, you're both grounded to your room. Say what? Are you kidding me? Well, I guess I was right and you're wrong. I said both of you, Daisy. Wait, what? But we share a room. That would mean we'd both be stuck in the same room together for 24 hours. Are you crazy? I'm as serious as a heart attack. Whoa, that does sound serious, Grandma. That's right. I will bring you your meals in your room. Neither one of you are to leave. What if you have to go potty? You get a one-minute pass. To go to the bathroom? But sometimes if you've eaten a bean burrito, I need more than a minute. Well, then, you will have to spend 48 hours in your room. No, a minute's good. A minute's good. I can't believe I'm being punished. What did I ever do? You just merely exist, Daisy. You just merely exist. You two are going to learn to like each other. Or you're going to fight the entire time, but I won't have to hear it. I'm just going to close your door and turn down the volume on my hearing aid. <laughs> oh, Grandma. <sighs> now I know why I like Susie the babysitter better. This half of the room is my half. And that half of the room is your half. <gasps> well, what happens if my bed is on your half? Well, I guess you don't get to sleep in it then, do you? Molly, you are the most annoying sister ever. Ditto, Daisy. Ditto. Molly, are you seriously jumping on my bed? You should be grounded. Too late. Already am. And you're stuck in this room with me. <laughs> Please help me. Please, anyone. SOS. No one can save you, Daisy. That's it. I'm going to get even with you. And you're not going to like it. You get even with me? <laughs> That's laughable. Good night. I'm going to sleep. Good luck trying to sleep, Molly. I'm about to do my workout. One, two, three, four. La, 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 la. Well, breathe in this one. Ew, Molly, I'm stuck in this room with you. Yep, and there's more bean burritos where that one came from. <laughs> ah, my life is over. I can't deal with this anymore. How have I been cursed with such an evil sister? Ah. <laughs> I'm the winner, I'm the winner. 
There's no winner here, Molly. We're both losers. This is so annoying. Wait, what are you doing? I'm going to practice my drumming. Daisy, you don't even know how to be a drummer. Well, I think that'll annoy you the most. Well, well, I'm eating more bean burritos. Drum solo. Ew, what's that smell? Molly, you're gassing out the whole room. <laughs> I win. I'm the most evil sister. Not a chance, Molly. I got more with... <coughs> okay, Molly. Yeah. <coughs> oh, I can't breathe. I can't breathe. <laughs> That's it. I got to make something smell better in you. These are lavender scented tiki torches. Uh-oh. Dizzy, you can't use tiki torches inside. I'll use anything to get rid of that stinky bean burrito smell. One minute, 37 seconds later. Are you serious right now? I locked you in your room so you behave and you caught the house on fire? That's it. I quit. Okay, class. Okay, everyone settle down. I know there's frogs on your desk, but trust me, they're not going to bite. Now, where's Molly? Is she late again? Oh, I don't want to have to give her detention. I'm not late. I'm not late. I swear it. I'm not. Molly, I saved you a seat. Come on, sit down. La, 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 la. Oops, I didn't mean to close the curtains. Uh, I just want to sit down in my seat. Oh, wow. Look at these frogs. I know. They're kind of cute, right? Um, Yeah, they're pretty cute. Um, But are they going to bite me? I just got done telling the class, no one's frog is going to bite them. Ew, frogs are like so gross and boring. Yeah. I'd rather read my, read my fashion magazine and pretend this wasn't happening. Sarah, please put the magazine away. Brookie and Molly, please stop talking. Oh, guys, this is the same stuff I tell you every single day in class. Why aren't you listening? All right, so Molly, I'd like you to go to the board, please, and answer number five from your workbook. Workbook? Workbook? What's a workbook? Uh-oh. She's not going to be very happy if you're playing dumb. I don't, I don't know what a workbook is, Mrs. Griffin. Molly, quit goofing around. You're being ridiculous, and I don't want to have to give you another detention. And I'll call your mom. <laughs> no, seriously. I have amnesia. I can't remember anything. Um, Molly, I don't think she's falling for that. You probably should go to the board. Oh, no. I didn't answer this question. I don't know what the answer is. Well, Molly, um, do your best guess, I guess. Um, duh, uh, <laughs> This looks super hard. Molly, did you actually do your homework last night? Um, well, uh, Molly. Sorry. I had soccer practice, and then I came home, and... I had to play this new Roblox game because it was amazing and Molly, ugh. I don't even know what to do with you anymore. I mean, I've given you enough detentions. You think you'd get the hint. My job is so hard. I think I'm just gonna quit and move to a deserted island where no one can bother me and I can eat pizza all day. <laughs> You're so funny, Mrs. Griffin. <laughs> I can't stop laughing. <laughs> What's so funny about that? Well, they don't grow pepperoni or cheese on an island. Ugh, I can't believe I'm in this class with these ignoramuses. Whatever, Sarah. You don't know anything about pizza. I know everything about pizza. Besides, Mrs. Griffin, what's so hard about your job? Ah, uh, you just have to sit at a desk and teach kids all day. It's not that bad. <gasps> oh, really? You don't think so? Okay. Why don't you teach the class today since you think it's so easy? Really? Um, eh, uh, I don't know if that's such a good idea. Uh -oh. oh, no, 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 no. You wanted this, so you get to do it, or else you're going to fail science for the year. Good luck! I'm out of here. Where have you been, loser? I had my gifted class this morning. It was amazing. We learned so much science. Why is Molly up at the desk, Sarah? And where's Mrs. Griffin? Oh, so glad you could join us and finally see the drama that's unfolding in front of our eyes. 
What drama? Mrs. Griffin, like, pretty much quit and made Molly become the teacher. Wait, what? Okay, class, everybody be quiet. I'm in charge now. <laughs> oh, God. We're all doomed. <laughs> I'm going to be a great teacher. Better, you just better, wait better. and see. Okay, let's just look at Mrs. Griffin's lesson plan. I can copy off hers for at least today, right? I hope. I think. Okay. Um, all right, everybody. Uh, take out your textbooks to page 45. And we're going to be learning about the anatomy of these gorgeous and slimy frogs that are currently on your desk. It says here that frogs are a member of a diverse and largely carnivorous group of short-bodied, tailless amphibians. And that, wait a minute. Most frogs have a so, s small number of them have front teeth. Uh, blah, blah, I'm, wait, I'm just shocked right now. Most frogs have a small number of teeth in their upper jaws. Holy guacamole. No more English. No more math. No more crazy quantum sciencey blah, 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 blah. Throwing it all in the trash. Wait, what? We are going to do school Molly's way. <laughs> And in this school, everybody passes, no matter what. Because how can you fail Molly school? Well, except for you, Daisy, you might fail Molly school. Well, why? Because you're an overachiever. And in Molly school, you're an underachiever. Watch my very first lesson. First things first, lay on the ground. Take a nap if you even want to. The teacher's very boring, don't you know? So there's your first lesson, everybody. I want to see you laying down, being lazy. This is graded, so try your hardest or your least hardest. School is so boring. Ugh, I just need to be lazy. Great job, Brookie. 96% on your laziness. Ugh, whatever. Okay, I'm at Molly's school. This is boring. Ugh. Um, Sarah, you could have put in a little bit more effort than that, but I'm still going to give you an 85 because you did pretty good. Sarah? Sarah? Wow, her grade just went up to 100! She actually fell asleep! Oh, wow, Sarah, you're amazing! Yeah, being lazy is not that hard. Daisy? I can't do it! Uh oh! Daisy, never give up and never surrender! You can do anything! <sighs> Alright, I'll try. This feels so wrong, but here we go. Daisy, great job! One, two. Daisy, are you doing sit-ups? What are you doing? No, no, that's not the point. Being lazy is the point. Well, I just thought while I'm laying on the floor, I could make that work for me by getting better abs and be healthier. Daisy, you get an F. Wait, what? Why? Because, Daisy, I'm exhausted just looking at you. The, the, the whole point was to be lazy. Well, then I guess I fail Molly's class because I'm not lazy. This is who I am. <laughs> I can totally tell. All right, for the next test, eating in class. Who brought something delicious? I, I brought a chicken sandwich with cheese. Oh, it's so good. I got it from Chick-fil-A. Should I eat it? Will that make me pass? <laughs> no, the food's not for you. It's for me. Now, everybody bring up your lunches up here if you want to pass. Molly, you are the worst teacher in the shh. Daisy, no one asked you. This is Molly's world, and I'm going to eat all of your lunches. <laughs>
can tell my presents. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, uh, mom, I need to go to the store. So I take it that's a no. Nope. Are you gonna eat your pancakes, Molly? Oh yeah, I'm gonna eat those first, and then I'm gonna go to the store. Mmm, delicious. One minute, 37 seconds later. Okay, done, have to go to the store. Okay, Molly, well, um, don't be later than one o'clock, because that's when we're having your, your sister's birthday party. Okay, I won't. Who wants to take a guess whether Molly will actually buy a present for baby Kira, or if she'll buy Starbucks for herself? Well, DC, I have to hope that she'll keep your sister in her mind. Yeah, she might bring you a half-eaten Starbucks muffin. <laughs> Ooh la la! The bakery! So many delicious cupcakes. So many delicious donuts! No, Molly, no! You need to spend your money on baby Kira! But I could just have, like, one little cupcake. No! No! You have to save your money for baby Kira! Aww. Welcome to Walmart! What can I help you find today? Um, point me towards the toy section, please. All right, just head on over there to the children's section and you should be able to find exactly what you're looking for. Thank you! Oh my gosh, I bet baby Kira would love this Lego set. She loves building stuff. Mm, I don't see a price tag. Mm, I'm gonna take it up to the front and see how much it costs. Excuse me! Yes, how can I help you? Um, how much does this cost? That's $25.99. $25.99? Huh, I don't have that kind of money. I'm gonna have to put it back. Oh, Walmart, why do you have all this delicious bakery inside of you? Oh, tempting me with your delicious chocolate chip cookies and the smell of those chocolate donuts. Oh, focus, Molly, focus! Ooh, an iPad. Holy guacamole, my sister would love that. $239? That's not even the latest version. Definitely can't afford that. I only have nine dollars. Mm. Ooh, a keyboard. That would drive my parents both crazy. Love it. It's gonna be so loud. Nineteen ninety nine. Ugh. Ooh. Everything here costs so much money. Um, how about like these tennis rackets? Twenty one ninety nine. I only have nine dollars. <laughs> Perfect. Look it. Baby Kira would love one of these bouncy balls. This is what I'll get her. La 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 la. Are you all ready to check out? Yep. How much is it? That one is nine dollars and ninety-nine cents. What? No! I only have nine dollars. Can it please be just nine dollars? Oh, I'm sorry, but that's not how the real world works. That's exactly how the real world should work. I can't afford to get my sister anything. Oh, I'm really sorry about that. It sounds like a real problem. Aww. My sister's gonna be so disappointed in me. I'm her biggest sister and I didn't even get her anything for her for her birthday. Like the worst big sister ever. Oh. Huh. I guess there's only one thing to do. Yum, 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 yum. Oh, this cookie's so good. Oh, give me a cupcake too. Whoa, girl, you need to slow down. You're gonna get a tummy ache. No, I need to eat everything inside Starbucks. Well, everything that $9 will buy. Nom, 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 nom. This is Starbucks. It's not gonna really buy that much. You need like a cookie and a half a cupcake. Fine, give me the half a cupcake. Nobody knows the trouble I've seen. Oh. How am I gonna tell my baby sister I don't have a present? What is that? Ugh. It's a, it's a, a doll? Man, that looks like it's been out here a while. It's all dirty and tattered, but maybe I could give it some love. Clean it up some and give it to my sister for her birthday. I mean, a doll is a doll, right? I think she'll love it. Oh, I think, I think she'll really like you. At least I hope she does. Cause if not, I don't have another birthday present for baby Kira. Ow! I'm gonna call you Susie. Susie Q. Aww. Okay, Susie Q, time to get you cleaned up so I can give you to my sister for her birthday. You probably haven't had a bath in, well, you smell like about 10 years. <laughs> yeah. I just can't believe someone abandoned you. You need love too, even if you are, well, a little bit ugly. Hopefully I can get all the dirt off of you. 
or at least make you smell better. <laughs> oh, I know. I'll use some of Daisy's really expensive shampoo. I'm sure she won't mind. I mean, it is for a good cause, baby Kira's birthday and all. I can't believe my sister bought this. I mean, I know it was expensive and all, but this bottle of shampoo looks, well, ridiculous. <laughs> anyway, um, here you go, Susie Q. Let's uh, just put some of this in here. Try to get all of that yucky dirt out of your hair. Five minutes later. That didn't seem to work at all. You still look, well, ugly. Hopefully my sister baby Kira doesn't think so, because her birthday's in five minutes, and, well... I don't have any other choice. You have to be good enough, Susie Q doll. I hope baby Kira can see past your, well, creepy look. Ah! Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Kira. My mom always has to make the song so beautiful. Aww. Birthday to you! <laughs> you belong at the zoo. I don't need to, like, make my song pretty at all. I always make mine silly and kind of, well, crazy. Well, that goes with your personality then, Molly. Okay, who's ready for promotions? I got presents I want! Molly, did you get your sister a present? Of course I did! Be right back! <coughs> Sorry, I didn't have time to wrap it. Um, and also I didn't have enough money for wrapping paper, but I put it in a box! Oh, it got big present! I love it! Okay, everybody, I'm Snapchatting this, so make sure you say happy birthday! Happy birthday, baby Kira! You're the cutest little sister in the world. I know, right? She really is cute. Look at her with her little passy. Give me plenty <coughs> Baby Kira, say please. That's not nice. You might not want it anyway, baby Q. It might be like a half-eaten chocolate chip cookie. Hey, who wouldn't want a half-eaten chocolate chip cookie for their birthday? I wouldn't mind. <laughs> it's just so sad your dad is on a work trip. Ah, <sighs> But he'll see this on Snapchat. Yeah, we miss you, Dad! Okay, baby Kira, open up the box. Open it, open it! I, I can't wait to open it. It's gonna be amazing. <laughs> it's a... It's a... Doll! Horrible. Um, yeah, okay. I love it! <laughs> what? She's so cute. I love it! You do? Well, she's not perfect, but she needs a home. And you could be her mommy. Aww. Let's be friends. Oh, she talks! I never heard that she talked before. I didn't even replace her batteries. I'm so glad it didn't get ruined in the bath. Well, um, as long as baby Kira loves that doll... I agree with mom. She's a little bit weird looking. She's just old, okay? And she needs a mommy. She needs somebody to love her. That could be you, baby Kira. I love her. I want her. I can see my birthday doll. I named her Susie. Susie Q. I got it. Hi, Susie Q. Let's be friends. Okay, we be friends. Hey, everybody. I just got done celebrating my baby sister's um, birthday. And I really bought her well i didn't buy her i actually found this doll she really loved it though um even though my mom and sister thought it was kind of creepy hey hey over there who's on the background of my snapchat all right i'm just gonna turn it around and see what is going on right now hey where did that come from like i don't know where i am i'm like confused on my snapchat there she is um, why is somebody hopping over my fence? All right, guys, I'll see you later. I gotta find out who this is. Hello? Oh, hi. Um, my parents just bought the house next door to you. I'm Hannah. Oh, hey, Hannah. I'm Molly. Um, I think we're gonna be in the same grade together, and I was wondering if you wanted to, like, hang out? Yeah, sure. Come on in. The door's over here into the fence. Okay, be right there. Whoa, I'm gonna make a new friend today. This is gonna be awesome. Hi. Nice to meet you. I'm Hannah. I'm Molly. Um, what are you doing? Open your door, silly. <laughs> I thought maybe I had a dog or something. I don't want him to get out. Good point. I always forget to do that. Ow! Whoa, your backyard is so amazing. OMG. Oh, sorry, I have the hiccups. <laughs> I just drank a huge glass of lemonade. Ooh, jealous. That sounds delicious. 
So, um, tell me about yourself. Where'd you come from? Oh, Malibu. Whoa. Wow. Fancy. Yeah, but I'm really liking this new town. Everybody seems so nice. Whoa, what was that sound? Um, it was my stomach. Sorry, I think I ate too much birthday cake. I'll be right back, okay? Sure, no problem. I'll wait here for you. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, thank the door wasn't locked. <laughs> Let's be friends. Where did that doll come from? I don't remember that being in Molly's yard. It's kind of creepy, but it's probably hers or her sister's or something. Hmm, it looks like it's gonna rain soon. Maybe I should take you inside so you don't get ruined more than you already are. Let's Ah! What's wrong with that doll? Oh, why did I eat so much cake? Such a bad idea. Such a bad idea! Uh-oh. Should have even slunge her for that one. <laughs> yeah. Hannah, I'm back. Let's hang out some more. Hannah? Hannah? Oh. Either one of two things has happened. One, I spent too much time in the potty and she left. <coughs> or two, she didn't really like me and she left. <gasps> oh. Hey, what's Baby Kira's doll doing out here? It looks like it's gonna rain soon. Uh, Baby Kira must have left her out here. Come on, Susie Q. I bet Baby Kira's wondering where you are. I don't know why Hannah just ran away from me. She like disappeared. I thought she could be my friend, but I guess she just didn't want to be. Oh, hey Molly, why, why are you frowning? Did you have a bad day after baby Kira's birthday? She loved the doll, honey. No worries about only having a few dollars to buy her birthday present. Mom, no, this new neighbor Hannah came to hang out with me. And I had to run in and go to the bathroom, and when I came back, she just disappeared. Or maybe she got a call from her mom and had to go home. I'm sure it wasn't because of you, Molly. You're a really good friend. You're probably right. Thanks, Mom. Love you, sweetheart. Have a great night's sleep. Thanks, Mom. Let's be friends. What? What? Why is that doll going off right now? I could have swore that I turned her off. Let's be friends. Why am I so freaked out right now and scared? It's just a dumb doll. Besides, she's just old. She's probably broken. Her off button doesn't work. I bet baby Kira is missing you, Susie Q. Come on. I'll put you in her bed with her. Oh, baby Kira, I hope you had the best birthday ever. I need to stop being so silly about that doll. <laughs> that was ridiculous. <laughs> This morning. Oh, maybe she's already out there waiting for me. Molly, are you out here? Molly! Where did she go? Oh, I bet she went to Starbucks to get some coffee. Hey, are those feet I see hanging out below the, the bushes? Oh my god! Why is there somebody in our bushes sleeping? Molly? <gasps> what, what happened to Molly? And who is that girl? Molly, wake up! Molly, you were in the backyard in the bushes. Uh, uh, what's going on right now? It looked like you got knocked on the head. I think I did. Oh my god. Molly, it was that creepy doll. Who's this girl? She's the neighbor. The new neighbor, Hannah. That creepy doll. She knocked us on the head and dragged us out here. <gasps> that creepy doll. 
You've been beating Kayla's creepy dog? Are you guys pranking me right now? This isn't funny. No, we're not pranking you. I'm not the type of person that would prank anybody. I, I, I have a really bad headache. That dog chased me and then bonked me on top of the head. Ooh. Yeah, and, and that was so crazy. It chased me like super fast and it had a knife and I tried to run, but whammo. Oh my god, are you kidding me? You okay, Panda? I think so. I just have a little bit of a headache from the bonk. Molly, are you okay? Should I call that wood? No, I'm okay, but we need to get rid of that doll and quick. Yeah, and we should Snapchat it all so that no one ever tries to adopt that doll level again. I'm really sorry I brought it into our house. I didn't know. It wasn't your fault, Molly. How could you know? I think we should, like, take the doll out into the woods and bury it six feet deep. <laughs> good idea, Molly. Goodbye and good riddance. Whoa. There's way too much drama in this neighborhood. I'm sorry, but good luck. We can't be <coughs> friends. Wait, what? Hannah? Whoa, she jumped over the fence. She was totally freaked out, and I don't think she wants to be our friend anymore. Uh. Hey guys, it's Molly. A Daisy. We're making this Snapchat way right now because, well, there's a creepy, evil doll that has moved into our house. It really wasn't my fault. I didn't know. Well, um, you brought it home, but yeah, you didn't know. Oh my god. We have to get rid of it, guys, but we wanted to make this Snapchat so you knew the doll was evil. Do not dig it up. Oh wait, Molly. Let's go get it from Baby Kira and bury it six feet deep in the woods. Good idea. Baby Kira, put that doll down right now! I'm not fooling you. Let's be friends. Let's yeah. not, evil psycho doll. Why are you talking so mean about my doll? That, that, that. Yeah. Girls, be nice to your sister. Uh oh. Well, we will, Mom. Baby Kira, listen to me. That doll bonked me over the head, chased me with a knife, and threw me in the bushes along with the new neighbor, Hannah. Well, now if we did it, I double your pranking. Let's be friends. Psycho doll, be quiet! Quit talking to my doll like that. I love her. I love her. Do you love her as much as... Ice cream? It's your favorite watermelon. Ooh, watermelon. <sighs> Oh. Okay, baby Kira. Um, great. You eat that ice cream. All right, creepy evil doll. Time to bury it. Wow, wow Molly, that sounded kind of crazy. You want to sound a little less psycho? I mean, the doll is a psycho one, boy. Okay, D you're not really alive. You're just evil. And we're about to dare bury you in the dirt. Let's be friends. Yeah, okay, psycho. I don't think so. Get in, Molly. Don't take your eye off that psycho doll. Don't worry, Daisy. I won't. Should we listen to some music? I've got some Halloween songs. Aw, uh, Daisy! No, this is creepy enough. We don't need the Halloween songs. Ow! You sure? I think it could kind of lend to the ambiance. Daisy! What? It's a creepy Snapchat movie. We need creepy tunes. Daisy, what are we doing here? I thought we said the woods. Yeah, but I think the cemetery is creepy. Okay, my sister wants to make this as creepy as possible. So, um, yeah, let's grab our shovels. Okay, you dig while I Snapchat this. Molly, we nope. both have to dig. There's a lot of dirt here. Oh, gosh. You're right. This is way too much work. The evil doll is just going to have to live with us. What? Molly, quit being so lazy and keep digging. Uh, is the hole deep enough yet? Not quite, Molly. Keep digging. Hey guys, it's me, Molly, again. And my sister and I are in the graveyard. We just dug a giant hole, and we're about to drop this evil Let's Be Friends doll inside of it. Guys, whatever you do, do not dig up this doll! Molly, it's time. Let's do this. Easy, that was the last of the dirt. Good. She's six feet under now. See you later, Evie, evil doll. Let's see if we hear her say, let's be friends. Daisy, I don't hear anything. Perfect! She's gone! Now come on, let's go home. I need some lemonade. 
You're speaking my language, Daisy. Daisy, what's up with the creepy music? We buried the doll. Sorry, it was still loud from when we were driving over here. Is this music better? Yes, absolutely. Remind me never to pick up a creepy broken doll on the way from Starbucks again. Yeah, Molly, don't ever do that again, please. Well, I guess it's time to go to bed. Daisy? Yes, Molly, what is it? Um, uh, are you too afraid to sleep by yourself, Molly? Uh, yeah, me too. Wanna sleep in my room with me? Yeah, what if that creepy doll comes back? No way, Molly. That doll is history. Ugh, I hope so. It is, Molly. It is. And uh, we'll be here together. Yeah, feeling much safer now. Everybody in town is, too. Yeah, you could say that again. Phew. So relieved. Oh, boy, Mommy, is that my birthday present from Amazon? Yes, honey, it was delivered today. Oh, I can't wait to open it. Thank you so much, Mom. You're welcome. I'm so excited. I know you're going to love this. Say cheese, honey. You're on Snapchat. Cheese. Wait. That's not the doll I ordered from Amazon. What is that creepy thing? Let's be friends. Molly, I can't believe how much this place has changed since we were kids. I know, Luke. I can't believe we're all grown up now. Yeah, and about to have a family of our own. <laughs> By the looks of your tummy, any minute. Oh, don't tease me. You know I've been craving peanut butter and jelly sandwiches with pickles. It's not me, though. It's the baby. Sure it is. You always did like peanut butter and s jelly sandwiches. Yeah, but not with pickles. <laughs> Ew, gross. This baby wants to eat everything. Are you excited about touring her possible future nursery i'm really excited about it molly i think this could be a really good place for her to come to school yeah me too come on let's go meet the manager i love you honey i love you too now come on let's go see if this is a good fit for our baby hi welcome to twilight daycare you must be molly and luke um hi does someone need to turn your frown upside down <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to feel my belly? My baby's probably kicking right now. Uh, no, thank you. Sorry. I have three teachers out sick today, so I'm feeling a little stressed. Oh, I'm so sorry to hear that. Honey, have a seat. You could have that baby at any moment. My husband is a little bit nervous about me having the baby at any second, if you couldn't tell. He's always telling me, rest! Don't get up too much! You, you need to eat more food! Oh, he sounds like a very caring husband. So, do you have any questions to start off? Yes, are you nice? I think our teachers here are very nice. Okay, um, do you feed them snacks as well as lunch? We sure do. We feed them lots of healthy snacks. And if there's a birthday or Christmas or something, we have treats too, like cupcakes and things. Oh, that's perfect. Would you like to see some of the cool facilities we have here? Absolutely! Honey, quit jumping up and down. I'm telling you, you might give the baby a concussion. <laughs> you worry about everything, sweetie. Over here is where all the kids have so much fun playing with lots of different toys. And where you're going now, Molly, is the nursery where all the babies can take a night-night a, a and a nice little nap during their day. <laughs> wow. This place is so adorable. <laughs> Oh, look, honey, this is exactly what we have to look forward to. Crying babies and poopy diapers. <laughs> um, well, that sounds a little intimidating. Don't worry, Luke. I wouldn't have married you if I didn't think you were going to be the perfect dad. Oh. Well, honey, I don't know about perfect, but I'm certainly going to try to be the best dad I can. 
You will be, honey. You will be. Oh, thanks for saying that, honey. Uh, you're welcome. <laughs> if you guys are done being lovey-dovey, I'd like to move on and show you the rest of the tour. Sure, Jenna. Sorry about that. <laughs> We're just feeling very happy these days because my belly keeps growing every minute. Whoa, you weren't kidding. I swear, it just grew right in front of my eyes. Yeah. Oops, sorry. I didn't mean to run into you. Oh, my tummy is just, it's just, it's everywhere. Wow, honey, I think you might have twins. No, no, the doctor said it's going to be just one girl. Well, is she going to weigh 50 pounds? Because your belly is getting bigger and bigger. I hope not. 50 pounds would be probably the biggest baby ever born. Oh, <laughs> we weren't going to come into the kitchen or anything. I know you weren't going to come into the kitchen, but I was. These cookies look delicious. Honey, you need to eat cookies right now. This baby is telling me it's starving. So yes, yes, I do need it a cookie. Uh-oh, ran into the cookie jar with my gut. <laughs> my belly is so huge. Like, seriously, I can't even reach for the cookies. Like, look at me. Ugh, my stomach's in the way. I can't reach the cookies. <laughs> Honey, didn't you want to take the daycare scooter? No, no. <sighs> Running's good for me. Keeps me in good shape. <laughs> My baby's going to be born super athletic. Honey, uh, you just won't rest, will you? Nah, although I am out of breath. This stomach of mine, whew, it's a lot to carry around. Wow, look at this place. They never had a fun house where we went to school. Yes, the kids love this place more than anything. It's their favorite place to come on recess. I can see why. Let's go inside. Holy macaroni and cheese! This place is amazing! I gotta look around and why? Oh, oh! Honey, be careful! You know the baby! Yes, yes, I know the baby, the baby! Whee! The baby's having so much fun in my tummy right now! <laughs> I gotta do that again! That was so much fun! Come on, Luke! It's like when we were kids! Oh, I landed on my tummy! Ugh! I'm telling you, she's going to give our baby a concussion. I think your baby will be okay. It's all right, Luke. Look at these trampolines. They make you fly in the air. Whoa. Whoa. Honey, I don't think all that bouncing around is good for the baby. What? What are you talking about? I'm fine. Whoa. Honey, are you okay? It's the baby. I, I think she's coming. Wait, what? Are, are you serious? I told you not to jump on that trampoline. No, no, no. I think it's okay, but I think I, I'm going to have the baby. What are we going to do? The hospital that we picked is like 45 minutes away. Don't worry. We have a hospital here at Twilight Daycare. What? Seriously? You do? Well, by the looks of it, we need to rush my wife there right away. Yeah. Oh, this baby's coming out. Whether we're ready or not. Uh -oh. Hi, everybody. <laughs> Are you ready to have some fun? No, my wife's going to have go into. She's going to have a baby. That's what I meant to say. We don't have any time for hanging out here anymore. Oh, man. I really want to hang out with that unicorn mom, though, and, and play in the ball pit. That looks like so much fun. Molly, seriously. You're going to have a baby. Get serious. Okay, okay. I'm serious. For reals. I'm being serious. Oh. <sighs> No, look at my face. I'm I'm being really serious. Molly, you don't look serious. You look like you're still dreaming about going into that ball pit. Okay, just one more time. Molly! Okay, okay, let's go have this baby. Jeez. <sighs> Ow, I ran into the door. I'm too fat to get in. My belly's too big. Ugh, uh, push me through. Okay, you're fine, Molly. You're in. Oh, look, look, there's the hospital. No one's working. Guess I'm not having this baby. Molly, are you afraid to have your baby? No, I'm just, I would rather hang out at the fun house. It looks so cool. Let's go back. Hi, I'm Daphne and I'm a doctor here. What can I do for you? My wife, she's, she's going into labor. Correction, I'm already in labor. Holy guacamole. Okay, I just need you to fill out these 50 papers, please. What? We don't have time for that. She's about to have this baby. Well, I know, but protocol is protocol. Please fill them out. Um, 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 I'll fill them out, honey. You go have the baby. Okay, meet you in there. Now, where is the maternity ward? Oh, found it. 
Why do they know my teachers need to know my teacher's name from first grade? That doesn't even make any sense. Everybody stop talking! Ah, oh, gonna have a baby! Wow, your tummy is impressively big. She's been eating a lot of peanut butter and jelly and pickle sandwiches. Oh, <laughs> yeah, we hear that a lot here. Okay, honey, well, now I just need you to push, Molly! Ah! Congratulations, Molly. It's a beautiful baby girl. But I'm wondering if you have another baby in there. <gasps> no, no, no. That's just the way my stomach is normally from eating too many peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. <laughs> I really should start working out on the treadmill more. Where's my baby? We're going to take her to the nursery and check her out. We'll bring her back as soon as we determine if she's healthy. Honey, you did it. Congratulations. <coughs> Thank you. Oh, I can't wait to meet our little girl. I bet she's going to be amazing. Well, as soon as you're rested a little, we could go in and see her. I would love that. Attention, attention, baby nursery. The Acker family would like their baby brought into their room, please. Please bring in the baby Acker to the Acker family. Thank you. Oh, no. I've got so many babies in beds right now that I have two extras that I don't even have beds for. Uh, which one was the baby Acker baby? They look exactly the same. Oh no, I'm gonna get fired. I just know I'm gonna bring them the wrong baby. Oh, they won't know, right? I mean, <laughs> this looks like the right baby, right? I think. I uh oh! Hope. <laughs> la la la, la la la. Here's your little girl. Have you decided what you're gonna name her? Whoa! Are you about to have another baby, Molly? Uh, no. They just came and served us pie, cake, all this delicious food. So, I was really hungry. I don't eat a lot. <laughs> this is my ate too much belly. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, well, here's your little girl. What are you going to name her? We've decided to name her Maggie. Oh, that's an adorable name. Oh, thank you. Um, but... Wait, are, are you sure that one's ours? <laughs> You're so funny, Luke. Of course it's your baby. Um, are you sure? Yeah. Does she even have blonde hair? Oh, no. None of the newborns have a lot of hair yet. <laughs> you won't be able to tell that till much later when I'm no longer working here. Uh -oh. Okay, here's your baby. Aw, she's so adorable. Oh. She's not even crying or anything. That's so unlike me. <laughs> well, maybe she takes after me more, Molly. You never know. Yeah, maybe. Oh, hi, Lucy. Uh, I just came back from work because my sweet little Maggie forgot her lunch. She never does that. Oh, I wanted to talk to you, Molly. You did? Has everything been okay? Is my baby okay? <gasps> she is so sweet and kind. It's almost like she's perfect. Wait, what? Uh, that doesn't sound like a kid of mine. But you are right. She is practically an angel. Hi, sweetie. Hi, Mommy. Oh, are you sad? I just need to go potty and I'm super hungry and thirsty. Well, why didn't you tell the caretaker? I didn't want to bother anybody. Oh, honey, that's really sweet, but you don't have to be that sweet all the time. I really do. I, I don't like... I don't like to bother anybody. I just, I just mind my own business. I'm, you're way too perfect to be my kid, I think. <laughs> Whoa, whose kid is that? They're shooting paintballs at the TV. Oh yeah, that's Hannah. She's our little demon child. Hannah? Whoa, Hannah, you look just like me when I was little. Like identically. What do you want, old lady? <laughs> I'm going to shoot you with a paintball next. Whoa. Hannah acts just like me. Wait a minute. She looks like me? <gasps> she acts like me? Hey. I, 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 I can't believe it. What is it, Mrs. Acker? Is everything okay? I don't think so. Why? What's going on? And why are you hanging out with Hannah? Everybody knows she's the troublemaker. Uh-oh! Because I think Hannah might actually be my daughter. Wait, what? 
Have you gone bonkers? Did you get a bonk on your head? <laughs> Listen, lady, I'm no kid of yours. Actually, that's exactly what I would have said when I was her age. I was basically a little demon child. And, well, Maggie doesn't look anything like me or my husband. Nor does she act like either of us. Hmm. That sounds like you've got a bonk on your head and have gone crazy. But, but I'm pretty sure that Hannah is actually my daughter. <sighs> Seriously, I'm going to call the doctor for you. Go on in. He's going to check out your head. What? No, I'm telling you the truth. I don't think you're my mom, lady. You're crazy. Why won't anybody listen to me? She really is my daughter. I know it. I can sense it. She's just like me. She looks just like me. I'm going to have to call the police if you don't calm down. Ugh.